Welcome back to A Corporate Time. Oh, my wife's sending me inappropriate photos on my Apple Watch. Oh, show them to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will, I will. I'll show you my wife. Okay, right? hey, <laughs> hey, we're already then, off to a good start. Yeah. Already making deals on a yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I'll leave it up to Mark if yeah, <laughs> yeah. whatever he feels. Yeah, yeah. What, do what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to see him or not? You're in the club. You know, You're in the club. Yeah. yeah. So Mark Thompson is our guest today. How you doing, Mark? Good, good. And Mark Thompson is the sauce stash, sauce stash on yeah. YouTube. Yes. Um, and uh, who I'm, I'm virtually certain thinks we forgot his appearance during yeah. the pandemic. <laughs> I really did. I, yeah, I, but I want to wait and address that on the show for ultimate embarrassment. Well, also, <laughs> it was on Zoom. It, yeah, 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 it was yeah. on Zoom. When I see someone and meet someone for the first time on Zoom, it doesn't count. I will never remember them again. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, yeah. I make videos now where I'm like, okay, I'm coming with an idea in the morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. And I go, I mean, I'll get to the grocery store. I'm like shopping, putting, putting together the, the video, the whole concept. And then I'll, it just clicks. And it's like, wait a minute. I, I made that three years ago. I, I <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is yeah. an already yeah, yeah. spent idea. <laughs> like, oh, this happens to be all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I know. I, I, I think I knew that we talked to you, but I think I didn't know that we had really analyzed how you got into this. But then as we were talking, I was like, well, that would be dumb because why would you have him on for the first time via Zoom and not give him like an origin story? Because uh. it's not like we haven't been doing this for a hot minute. Yeah. You know, like supposedly I've been doing this for close to 30 years, according to what people tell me. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe I've been doing this so long that I really am cracking up, <laughs> and this is it. Maybe this is it. Maybe I will die today <laughs> in front of the stash. The almighty stash comes in, and then maybe this is it. So, Mark, we've when, done it all. When we talked to you uh, in the pandemic, yeah. uh, what did we discuss? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give us a brief. Can you give us a brief, a brief oh, overview of what we said well, to you? Uh, uh, well, there was a there was the the intro where where there was a uh, misunderstanding about my last name being Sustache. Okay. Uh, See, was, he went back and, he went back and analyzed uh, the tape. That's what a real pro yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what a real pro uh, does. Instead uh, of sitting here saying saying to himself, "We're going to talk to this guy for the first time," yeah. which is what we did. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, I mean, we talked about uh, making making content. How like people, uh, how people grow on YouTube or just social media in general. Um, uh oh, I have to I erase back uh, some yeah. questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah we can talk about that again. <laughs> we have suddenly realized we have no part two. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> okay. no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, so well, let's just, let's talk about it because the, your channel has grown significantly since the last time we spoke. And yeah. let's start with the um, pandemic. Helping or hurting? Like, how did that? Let's go from the last time we talked to you. Did it? Well, it helped the internet. I know that. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and it I helped think, us uh, like uh, get fully enmeshed. If the I internet, mean, we are in it. If the internet was a stock, I mean, it skyrocketed during yeah. the pandemic. I mean, what? Five hundred percent? A thousand percent? I mean, I don't even know how to quantify know. it. But so, uh, I mean, you know what was really wild was I, I was seeing a lot of people, a lot of my content creator friends who. Uh, just exploded during the pandemic. Uh, my one friend who's a, as a baker, she has um, just a really great you know, dessert channel and she blew up. Um, one of my buddies, he does like a lot of different like breads and stuff, sourdough, like, I mean, he nice. took off. I mean, millions, hundreds of millions of views over the pandemic. Uh, for some, my content kind of just, it stayed, it flatlined. It stayed about the same. I, I kept the same level of growth all the way throughout. Um, nothing negative, but there wasn't, I didn't have that big explosion that I, I did see a lot of content creators do, but that was also because like, I was, I was feeling like the old man on the lawn because there was a lot of, at that time is when like shorts were really kind of starting to take off. Okay. People on TikTok were blowing up and I'm like, I am not doing TikTok. I don't want to do it. I don't right. want to be a part of shorts. I make long form videos. So I, I didn't do it. I didn't take part of that. And I think that's what kind of kept me at that that even steady keel growth. Yeah, steady yeah, growth. Yeah. yeah, I stayed steady. You know, I mean, there was nothing. Which is sometimes better because yeah. you, if you get an explosion of viewers and followers, sometimes that knocks you off your course. Yeah. And then you start like thinking you need to do certain content to keep this explosion yeah. going and you're chasing that yep. initial thing. That's and what I all add. of a sudden you're off your plan yes, exactly. that you originally yeah. started. That's what I add to this business is a lot of overcorrection driving. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that too. Like, when I look at something and I'm like, oh my God, we got to do this. <laughs> I scream and then I, I yank the wheel and, to the left. But I think that's that's just in general, just in content creation, is a lot of overcorrection because you're trying to fit, you know, something's like really working yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. Sure. And, and also, Mark, I'm sure you've thought about this a lot. And, uh, and by the way, you've uh, accumulated 56.6 million views, which is in, an insane amount. Jeez, uh, you know, it's, um, holy smokes. And uh, so, but like back to, you know, that's like, a lot of pooping. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like when I think, I mean, that's a lot of, yeah, uh, there's ooh. a lot of time on the toilet. Where yeah. uh, back in the day, if you, and this is how I think in my old man head, and a lot of people that are our age think, it's like when you e explode in popularity, like let's, let's say an artist back 20 years ago, it's like, oh, you got the number one hit in America. Yeah. All of a sudden, that literally translates immediately into money for yeah. you you know what i'm saying like all like because of the the infrastructure right. you were in was built to make money off yeah. of that so as soon the as you're popular is there. the machine yeah. you're you are a cog in the machine yeah. and now your popularity instantly you're rich and now we live in a time where all of a sudden you could have 10 million views yeah. on a video and it mean nothing, nothing. You, nothing monetarily yeah. monetarily and then right, right. and then you have to figure out how to turn that into money yeah. Uh, which is super complicated, different for everybody, but it's bizarre that we live in a world where the views and your popularity doesn't uh, translate into money immediately. Yeah. And you have to figure out how to translate I, in I, that. I, in, in I, I know people like that. I know people that had like crazy viral hits that were shared by, you know, massive celebrities. Yeah. And people that, you know, they had those trending audios on TikTok and just blew up hundreds of millions of views over a very short period of time. But they didn't have a business model lined up yet. They didn't have any sort right. of like, there was no way to monetize that because it was just other people sharing their audio, other people doing their dance, you know? Sure. And it's, it's great. They eventually were able to develop that into something, but that was the, that was the big, big hit. Hmm. So yeah, it yeah. is tough. It's a weird <laughs> business. It is, yeah. It's, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it is a lot like though, does it mirror in some way? Like, like what you're the, the example you're using, like a one hit wonder from like, the 40s or 50s where they put out one song and it was like in North America the greatest song on rock radio whatever but the kids were still just kids they didn't make any money like is it yeah. is it similar but, but, to that? But, but with that one hit wonder what they can do is at least tour around yeah. and sell tickets that's true so yeah. the, there was a business that they were like okay and then some like promoter got a hold of them like this is how you make money you tour yep. will hit the radio stations promotes like oh this guy and this one hit wonder and like people know the song they'll go right and then so all of a sudden that but with influencers there is none of that and some of some people have tried that with like oh do live shows and they've been yeah. horrible yeah. you know because they don't know what to do yeah. you know they, right, they're not performers right. they're, well you're, well, you're you know, th I think you're not doing what you originally do <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I mean, so at least if you're a band you're like oh, okay i can get on stage and play my song yeah. and then if you're an influencer it's like mark it, like doing a live show would be odd. Have you done a live show? <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've okay. talked to people. Like, yeah. I mean, there's like, you know, those. Yeah, you've uh, had meetings, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had yeah. the meetings where they're like, hey, we can put you on a little tour. And it's like, oh, God, yeah. I don't even know what I would do. A live <laughs> cooking <laughs> tour. That would be awful. Because I know Look, that business. I love you yeah. and I love your content, but a live cooking tour sounds ha so hard. Oh, man. That sounds extremely hard. Yeah. yeah. It's something I don't want to do. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, like, yeah. I have no intention of doing it. Right. I have no intention well, of doing it. Well, you like to control what you do. I mean, you and your wife are, you know, and namely you, you're working on this thing, you're doing it, and you like to you know kind of dial it in the way that you want it's very it. dialed in yeah, yeah i like that well so let's talk about it just so if people aren't familiar uh so oh, you're I'm showing him your shrimp cashews video and blowing <laughs> yeah. it i blew his wig off this morning so that was cool you create it's really cool plant-based foods and yeah. uh show people how to cook it and you don't have a culinary background nope. which is interesting as well too i think it makes it better i think a, like lot a musician of that didn't go to juilliard you know like <laughs> i it's Thank the you. same thing man it's so so let, let's talk about that how do do you just learn by research and experimentation? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how does it work? I, I mean, so uh, really, I, I was the kid that took everything apart. You know, I mean, like I really, you know, I took the TV apart. I took the toaster oven. I just really always wanted to figure it out, you know. And that's the same thing that happened here. Um, you know, it, it, when I started the channel, it was, <laughs> I'm called Sauce Dash because my wife originally said I should make a blog about my sauce recipes because I liked making sauces. That's why I have a sauce now. Okay. Uh... And, and, and then I just, 
started kind of like diving into different things as far as um, like just trending recipes and stuff and figuring out how people did stuff. But then when the Beyond Burger came out, I, I tried that the first time and I was like, wow, this really is meaty. Like, how the heck did they do that? Yeah. And I started dissecting the ingredients, what, what they used. I was trying to like order stuff from, you know, all over the world so I can figure out how they made it. And, and that that's really it is just diving into how like some of these like larger companies, people that do have that, you know, they are scientists, they are professional chefs. Like, how are they making this stuff? How are they putting it together? You did the old man, young man, like old men look <laughs> at the Beyond Burger, they take a bite and they're like. That's pretty good. How yeah. the hell do they do it? I'll go watch boxing. But yeah, you didn't do that. I didn't do that. I actually tried it, it, and you're like, "How the hell do they do it? I'm gonna figure it out because yeah. I'm young and I'm strong." Yeah, that's. Cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. That was really the thing was just trying to figure it out. You know, I I really like that. You know, and I still it. I've kind of gotten to that point now with a lot of like the plant-based meats where, you know, I've made like 27 different versions of vegan bacon. And um, so it's, I, I'm almost like veering away from that a little bit, just where I'm like, now I'm, I'm really into like the health stuff and trying nice. to figure out the healthier ways of doing things. Uh, but still from time to time, like the cashew shrimp, that idea just popped in my head one night. And I was like, you know, and I was like, I can get these big jumbo cashews and, you know, soak them overnight. And then it'll kind of come out like a shrimp, like it's a bang, bang shrimp. Super and, creative, it's really good. You know? Well, let's talk about the cashew shrimp because Daniel was showing me the video you made about how you made cashew shrimp. I also which I never would have thought about. I also can't eat shrimp right now. And I love shrimp. I have an adult yeah. onset shrimp allergy that I got oh. at the age of 33. And they say that it can go away again, and maybe yeah. I'm going into one of those periods, but I can definitely eat some fake shrimp. I, you yeah. know, I'll munch There's that There's some up. pretty good fake shrimp out there. Yeah, man, and, I'll do it. And how long did it take you to uh, get the recipe right where you're like, this is, I'm going to show my audience this? I mean, was it was it? a few days. Okay. I mean, it was, I was already working on something before that, uh, that, as far as like getting shrimp soft, but, or not shrimp, getting cashews soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to have like that kind of texture. I'm the softest shrimp you'll ever get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I was like, I was already working on different things. So I, I'm always kind of doing different tests. Like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen if I add, you know, baking soda to an apple, you know, and just different things to see if I can come up with different textures. Um, so sometimes like ideas appear that way. You know, like I did a, um, I made like a vegan tuna from, from an apple. That was one of them. Uh, and that was just testing, you know, what different levels of pH and cooking the apple would do. Uh, to like gel and firm the apple up differently. So a lot of times you're going for because it's like chemistry. Yeah, well, it is a little bit. I mean, it really is. What I like though is that like the a lot of the flavors you can find. Yeah, you know, like I I love the fact that in the shrimp video, kind of you kind of go through how you can add like I'm, I'm you're making a brine I, I'm guessing yeah. or similar and you're gonna have to add certain thing elements in there to make the shrimp taste like it came from the ocean right yeah. so you would add something that would give it that quality. It's like I like the idea of you chasing like the texture though that yeah. to me and i think that, that most parents know this with kids yeah like the number one reason that i think Maisie won't eat certain things is usually not flavor we're not going to give her something that tastes like crap yeah. it's usually the texture of it yeah like this is slimy this looks weird this is that but the you're kind of going backwards yeah in that you're looking at the steak and then going okay i'm looking at that i see the marbleization of it yeah. i see the fat in there how do you you, you know if, like you said, flavor is kind of easy. You know, it's, I mean, if you think about it, like take a piece of chicken and cook it without adding any seasoning to it or sure. you know, just boil it. It's going to be the plainest, weirdest yeah, thing. Blandest, <laughs> yeah, bland and non-flavor. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then so all it's the like... other flavoring, it's like, well, you could add that flavoring to anything. <laughs> anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. always think of it like barbecue yeah. potato chips. It's like, like yeah. I know that the regular potato chips tastes like a potato with salt on it. And then the barbecue, I realized that they put a series yeah. of different spices. This yeah. is like for me as a little kid. It was the first time the light bulb went off and I was like, oh, they're just adding these yeah. certain smoky or flavors that remind me of a barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. And I'm eating like, So, I mean, if you apply that to whatever, but the texture thing really gets me. And I was chasing your channel all morning, looking at these pictures of all these things. And, I mean, the meat tears and it shreds. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know how you do that. I mean, so, I mean, a lot of that stuff, there's a lot of the things that have been around for a long time, you know, like, uh, you know, gluten, meat, Satan, that's been around for 2000 years. Yeah. Um, Satan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, so it's it, that stuff. It's just experimenting with what a lot of people have already done and seeing how far I can take it really is what, sure. you know, is what I'm doing to get that texture. Well, now you're moving into the health stuff. Let's talk about that a little bit. I mean, obviously we knew that the channel kind of started with a pseudo health journey right like weren't you trying to like yeah, you know i was eat better yeah i was trying to eat better i mean it's so when 
I think the last time I was on the show, I was 100 pounds heavier. Um, no, you can tell. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, that's why I don't recognize yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> that's I mean, it. There it is. Yeah, you look <laughs> you know? awesome, dude. You uh, thank really you. Do. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You know, so it's... It, I've kind of just gone down that path of just trying to... 100 pounds is yeah. a lot. That's a yeah. significant... How much yeah. have you lost in total? Um, I'm at 100 pounds. Oh, so like it's that's, a, that, that, right. that's, that's an insane... That's, I have been that's a human. plateaued for a while. That's a human. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I recently, yesterday, just hit 50 pounds that's from lot, the, my fattest point. I'm going the other way now. I'm going fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get fatter. But, but, and I was it's like, the only man, way to make myself unique. Uh, I, I can't even imagine a 100-pound difference. Like, uh, that's a gigantic difference. Yeah. You know? yeah, so congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank pretty you. damn amazing. You. So you're dialing... Are you, is it hard to kind of weave that into your content are you seeing any pushback yeah. from oh your... yeah for sure there's people i mean I, I get the comments every day they're like i'm not here for the health stuff you okay, know? And it's like they're yeah. really mad at... but you know what there's there's always going to be negative comments no matter what you do you know it's any small little change somebody doesn't like it they don't like the new music they don't like the new shot that i'm using sure oh, well let's talk let's talk about just vegan and health food uh because vegan doesn't necessarily yeah, no, mean no, 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 it's no. healthy you know yeah. like and there's plenty of oreos unha- are vegan yeah there's plenty oh, of yeah. unhealthy vegan i like an oreo you know I mean, depends on what you add to it. You add a bunch of oil and yeah. uh, unhealthy carbs and things. Yeah, you don't think sure. then it's like, all right, this is just as bad as a cheeseburger yeah. or a McDonald's or whatever it is. Um, so that's uh, difficult too, I imagine, in your world too, because a lot of you know, just to make money, you can make unhealthy vegan food. Yeah, and I'm people doing that will right come, now. I'm currently and, doing. I'm currently making unhealthy <laughs> vegan food. And yeah, then, I mean, and then people will want then think, oh, vegan healthy. You yeah, know? I mean, for the longest time, that's I really did make a lot of vegan junk food. I made a lot of plant based junk food, uh, and I, and I knew it wasn't healthy. I mean, but I just you know I was chasing the cheeseburger. I was chasing yeah, the yeah, steak yeah, and yeah. cheese. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. what I wanted. And people would comment. They're like, this isn't healthy at all. And I'm you know I'm like, yeah, no, it's not. I never said it. <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was never designed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this that delicious. wasn't the point. Yeah. It's really good, you yeah. know. It's, but now it's it, it, in my head. It's hard for me to come up with those ideas anymore because it's just not what I'm craving or what I'm like looking at. Now I'm like, I'm like, oh man, this lentil soup is really good. And you know, what can I turn this into? And it's like, well, I guess more lentil soup. Right, uh, because so, you're you're being yeah. authentic. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You, and, and and that again, yeah. That's I think that's really the key to everybody's content. Yeah, it's just yeah. be yourself. Yeah, you no, know? it really is. It's and I I think that's a big thing because people people see it. I mean, honestly, it's I know the healthier stuff isn't driving nearly as much views because it's not as um, gosh, what's the word? It's not as sensational. Sure, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, and we picked a really good example with like cashew shrimp. Like, yeah. when you're turning a nut into a sea creature for you know that yeah. is crazy. That's sensational. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. saying like, hey, here's some ways that you can. You know, you know, micro hack your lunches every day yeah. to save, you know, uh, to optimize protein and yep, make them exactly. low calorie, protein make curry. them easy to digestible. Yeah. And you want to make sure you're not spiking your, yeah. you know, your glucose. Sure, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, like some people will be like, I'm turning this off. I mean, I get yep. it. I get yeah, it. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm, tr- I'm on that balancing line. I'm, I'm, pl- I'm, I'm, you know, teetering in the middle of that right now. And, and it's I enjoy it. And, you know, if views are a little bit lower, I'm OK with that. Uh, it's because it's just what I want to do. How long have you been doing it now? Uh, eight, I think eight years. Good lord, yeah. that's a long time, man. Yeah. Do you so, want to talk? Let's talk a little bit about this. I mean, we're talking. Oh yeah, about, yeah. Here, Tom. Yeah, here is, uh, I have to. I'm going to purchase your cookbook, by the way, for my oh, wife. Uh, we, you know, it's funny. My wife was just here, and uh, we are actually talk, talking talking oh, yeah. to Mark out front. That was and, a happy accident. I like that. Yeah, I wanted Crystal to so, like meet you oh, and, cool. and check out your channel. So let's talk about the sauce, uh, not steak sauce. Uh, yeah. You can get this on through your channel. Yeah, so it's, well, right now we're out of stuck, but we're getting hey, ready to be. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting ready That's to be. great. Look at this, the last two bottles. Yeah, uh-huh. you got the last two glass uh-huh. bottles. We're actually shifting. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. Should I put this up here? In yes. The, like so, when people watch our channel, that like Zuckerberg, there's a like random font. <laughs> yeah. Like right there, like on the. Thing. That's yeah. awesome. There we go. It yeah. looks great too. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's I mean, right. It's like, it fits perfect. Yeah, yeah. So people can see it. Remember when Zuckerberg just had mustard like in his uh, cabinet? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I have no. I don't idea. know if I do. Do you guys Zuckerberg, know what I'm talking no. about? No. So Mark Zuckerberg back like I don't want to get in trouble or anything, but no, when he did like some announcement, and then like all the people freeze frame the announcement he was doing. It was like a live stream, and in the back like left corner, there's just a random bottle of like mustard or barbecue that's so just sitting on a shelf. 
Did he do it on purpose? I think he did do it on purpose. For, anyway, yeah. for what reason? Though? I, I got to no find idea. this now. I'm so curious about I have no idea. This. You, you could start putting yeah, that in yeah. the back of your yeah, but it was Zuckerberg. And everybody's like, look at this alien. He uses barbecue sauce as a book. Like, oh, I think it was like a barbecue sauce. Yeah, I, I think I remember. It was he, yeah. something like on the like the whole the book. Like no, a, it was just oh. in his cap, like behind him. Like you're oh. looking at like what a millionaire's cabinetry would be, right? You wanted like an air plant. <laughs> you want some like yeah, books exactly, yeah. that show you his intelligence. He didn't have that. He had like an air plant, a book, and like a bottle of barbecue sauce. And everyone's like, "What the hell? <laughs> but this it, alien doesn't understand what barbecue sauce <laughs> is." Yeah. Um, anyway, sorry. No. So, uh, and you, oh, it was Sweet Baby Ray's. There you go. Oh, Sweet Baby Ray's. There we go. Chat room. I, guess I do remember the the barbecue sauce. Yeah, thing. thank that, you. That, chat when you room. said that, that clicked. It's so weird. I was so devastated when I found out there was no Baby Ray. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there uh, is. Or Stubbs. No, uh, there is. There is a Sweet Baby oh, Ray. Is there is really? Stubbs? There is a Sweet Baby Ray, but he's like a fat, like corporate white guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that's what he's saying. It bums you out. It bums you out because no, but his name is Ray, and I think he did have recipes, but it's not. Like you want the guy to be like, hey everybody, <laughs> yeah. you know you yeah, like you want him to yeah. like he's in his smoke right. shack and he's working all day and he's yeah. like, I love the I'm only in it for the meat, you know yeah. like that it's not that guy, uh, it's some corporate guy. But back to your sauce. So how does one because this looks like a, a huge undertaking? It was a lot. Of, I mean, so it was really cool. I, I've I, my manager and I talked back and forth for probably two years about making like a sauce or wow. making something. Um, you know, just like you guys have, you know, like your sponsors on every, you know, on every uh, stream, you know, we, we do the same thing. If there's a sponsor on every video. And um, so I, I, I kind of I've wanted to make a sauce for a long time. But like you said, it's a it's a big thing. Yeah. It's a um, lot of tasting. And of course, you want it to like oh, you're going to have like core values of your channel. And, and I'm guessing it's going to be vegan. It's going to be healthy. Yep. Like there's going to be like things you're so, going to have to check boxes. And that, that that's actually one of the things. I mean, it took like two or three months just to pick the right sugar. You know, right. I mean, and like just odd, like things that you wouldn't really think about. But that was like the sugar was a big debate. Like, which sugar do we use? And, you know, you have to land on it, the cost being right, you know, appropriate. But then also, you know, the value of it, like, OK, this sugar is vegan. This is, you know, not from some sort of like weird strip mine, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, sure. Yeah. You know, blood sugar. Yeah. Like it's, we put that's blood sugar thing. in our well, barbecue sauce. <laughs> well, let's, uh, it is a thing. I'm, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I'm making a joke. Mark, let's get into a little uh, something more deep. Where uh -oh. uh, man, this is, is this hey. what you ask him to swing or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening going, right yeah. now. He's and, going rogue. And, and this has always been something that I've just put my head in the sand and just uh, never really wanted to look at. Oh, uh, sustainability? No, 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 no. I mean, there's a lot to. I put my oh, head in the sand a, a lot. Too, yeah. I, I want to ignore my everything. Reality. Ethically sourcing? You know, reality is horrible. <laughs> 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 and I don't want to look at it. Reality bites. Reality bites. 1989. And, and Winona then, Ryder. And then I remember when all, all, a lot of food documentaries were coming out, and people were like, you got to watch these. Oh, and I just wife found out Super Size Me was fake. I just found that yeah, out. No. That, that was all fake. I'm talking about more about uh, America and how we mass produce foods and processed foods and all stuff. And then, you know, like I grew up on all this stuff. And yeah. then, you know, you have the a 90s. big bite hot dog <laughs> in your pocket right now. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, whatever. Didn't want to look at it. But when I had kids, and so you really start looking at it and uh, – and Crystal keeps uh, nagging at me about uh, Maisie, you know, real daughter, food. Every yeah. morning, my daughter eats uh, like 25 pepperonis and a Diet Coke, and I send her to school. And <laughs> I'm sorry. You can laugh at that. Do I need to leave? Do you guys hate me? Do I need to leave? She <laughs> eats 25 of the miniature. Oh, little, she eats 25 pepperonis and a diet, ice-cold Diet Coke like our best president, and she marches her ass to school. And if you don't like it, oh. you can get out of this goddamn country. Oh. That's what I say. <laughs> I'm a true blood patriot. <laughs> well, that's how she gets a true blood. <laughs> that's how she's strong. She's so strong. Uh, she is strong. The strongest. Yeah, but after 25 girl pepperonis, her <laughs> eyes turn blue. Uh, yeah, the sodium. After, yeah, the sodium. After, yeah, exactly. After 25 pepperonis, she gets a out. sodium burst and she goes fly in this school, man. It's so fast. <laughs> So, so anyway, you like, and when I realized this and I got disgusted by it is when, um, when, when we you know, had our partnership with organic meats and they, we were getting actual farm meat and this has yeah. nothing to do with vegan, but it, it and so when, oh, you when mean more, like farm to table type stuff. Yeah. And when organic would give me, give us like a real cow. Oh, the difference is like uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, like, like, you know, ground off of a farm. And I remember I'm eating ground beef and then I'm cooking it and then I'm like, what is like this isn't 
I'm not. It was so fatty. Yeah. And then I was like, and then I, I and I realized I was like, oh my god, I got used to horrible factory meat so much sure. that I'm now kind of grossed out by real meat. Yeah. And I'm like, and yeah. then we're talking about meat. And then I'm like, no, but real meat has a more. It's it is fattier. At least the ones so, that, that and, we've been given. And, yeah. And then you started looking at just real foods, and then the processed foods, and then you you start getting scared. You're like, man, everybody's so used to processed and this yeah. factory stuff yeah. that that's what everybody get is like used to I also eating like and to, is gross out by real yeah. foods at I, this point. I also like to pretend I'm an expert. So when we buy farm eggs and we're making <laughs> eggs, I'm like, look at those yolks. <laughs> look how much brighter they are. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking I think I that no, is a I real know thing. Is that like a thing? No, no, like I, it a, might be a thing, but yeah. I'm just telling you because I feel comfortable with yeah. you that yeah. I lie to my family and act like I like, no, yeah. I'm like, look at that. The chicken was healthy. I, I don't know what if, I'm talking about. If you buy the cheapest eggs possible, uh, the yolks are like- They're dingy. They are very dingy, dingy. yellow, yeah, light. They are. And then if you get like, especially- I, I got farm eggs for made the big boys and you crack them, there's like double bright sun. <laughs> yeah. The yolks are so bright. And then it's like, that's gotta be something. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, so like my thing is just, it's really, I think anybody can eat what they want to eat, but it, just limiting the amount of like overproduction, overprocessed, you know, I don't know what happened maybe 15 years ago. Uh, well, I actually, I mean, I, I, I went plant-based for just health, just trying to nice. like eat healthier. Yeah. That was the original intention. But then like, as I kind of went through it, that same kind of thing where I just kind of, I just got grossed out by it. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this, you know, this chicken like that's a, it's just an, you know, if, if you were to sit there and actually have to do that all yourself, most people wouldn't eat meat, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, kill the chicken? Oh my yeah, God. I mean, it also so, take me a long time because I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, I know there's like probably like hunters that are listening and are like, what are you doing? I'd have to push and something like, over well, on but it. We're not talking about hunters. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hunters. Just make, the general population. Yeah. Hunters understand the relationship between the animal yeah. and yeah. Uh, the meat. Like, more that's than why they anybody. take a picture yeah. with it after they're dead. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's like, yeah, they. It's respect. You know, they <laughs> understood nice. how hard it was to get this meat. Yeah. You know, like they hunted it. Yeah. Uh, they, it, it took them a long time. They And then they uh, killed the animal, butchered it sometimes themselves or whatever it is. And that's, that's why like, I make Maisie. That's why I make her pray over her pepperonis before about, she eats. <laughs> you go into Walmart and buying the cheapest <laughs> tube of ground beef. And then you're, you eat, and you're like, oh. it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, what am I doing here? Yeah. You know, like, uh, is there a better alternative that uh, could be better for what me? Are, what are some of the things that you, like, since you, you're really dialing it in now, you look amazing. What are some Thank of the you. micro things you've been doing? Like, some of the content that you're really into that you say gets less views, but it's well, new for this health journey. Is it work? Are you doing, like, workout stuff? Are oh, you... yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, I mean, I, I've, I've grown that. I mean, when I first started, I, I started running, which I never thought I would do, and now I, I love running. Uh, I recently just joined a run a local run group, Run BMT. And, oh, nice! And they are just fantastic. I mean, really, just doubled my effort and able to now I can run farther than I ever imagined I can run. That's awesome, man! Uh, well done. My Thank wife you. has been telling me to do that uh, because man. I like running by myself. Yeah, he's, <laughs> man, a he's a lone wolf runner. Listening to business he's books. That's what I do. Is that, yeah. uh, is that a camaraderie guy? <laughs> so that's what. So the first year that I ran, that's exactly what I was doing. I would run. You know, three miles was my max. I would hit that. Yeah, that's what I'm like, doing now. Yeah, that was my wall. Like, I could never get farther than that. And and I, 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 oh, I just didn't know what I was doing. We got a true blood real runner. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just didn't know what I was doing. And so I, uh, through, like, yoga and through some friends, uh, I, I met Seth, who's the head of Run BMT. And um, he was like, come join. You know, we do this block every, you know, the different blocks. They do spring, summer, and fall. Nice. He's like, come join it. So I joined it. it I was awkward because just walking into this group of people that you could tell they're, you know, runners. Yeah, and you don't have any friends. Yeah, 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 I didn't, I didn't know anybody. Guy. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. exactly. I think that's the plant based dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, what, alone, but within like two or three, like two or three weeks of, not even two or three weeks, maybe like a week of doing it, like these people are amazing and it's yeah. incredibly motivating. And it's like now, you know, this morning I, I, I did six and a half miles this morning. Whoa. You know, and like, and, and, Never would have imagined doing it. I'm doing faster, and, and I feel better. Congratulations, feel, yeah, man. That's really killer. really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. 
It um, is it is funny that let me um, take a sip of my diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> you're, you're talking about all your accomplishments. Like uh, it, it, you, you eat better and exercise, you feel better. <laughs> I like that. Right. That well, <laughs> you know right what? That. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's look good, so smell bad. good, feel good. So, Tone X. So, so there bad. was the, the, a lot Damn of this it. health stuff started for me. I mean, I was forty. I was kind of feeling like crap. I had anxiety. You sure, know. Man. I mean, I, I was that. really. I, I'm on the content treadmill of, of, of social media. I'm just constantly having, I'm still on that treadmill. But it, I watched, there was a documentary on Netflix. Uh, gosh, I can't remember. It was like the Jonah Hill and his therapist. And I only watched like 15 minutes of it. But the first 15 minutes, the therapist said, he was like, you know what? If I can get people on the couch and actually just tell them like, hey, you know, if, if, you, if you worked out, like you took care of your health, you took care of your relationships with like your friends and you were creative, you would probably be 80% happier. And I don't know why that just really hit me. I was like, wow, 80% happier. Okay. So I got, I have some pretty good friends. You know, I like my friends. Nice. And I have a creative outlet. The only thing I'm really not doing is paying attention to my health. Will this make me happier? So I, my wife was at her parents' house for the weekend and I called her and I was like, hey, she, what'd she, you do? Yeah. What'd she used to be, do? she used to be really into yoga. And I was, I called her and I was like, well, let's, let's start doing yoga. You know, I know you want to get back into it. I've never done it. So let's go do it. And she took me to, um, Orlando Power Yoga, which is like hot yoga. Like oh, yeah. First class. Yeah. And that is intense. It is so intense. Like, I mean, literally like halfway through the class, I was like down on my hands and knees, just like praying for yeah, it to yeah. be over. But now I love it. Like now we go, you know, once or twice a week. And then I was looking for something to do outside. And that's when I started doing the running, which, again, is something I never really thought I would do. Uh, you I, run every day? Uh, I run three or four days a week. Nice. That's, that's nice. usually the thing. I run three or four days a week. I do yoga three or four days a week. Killer. Uh, and now I just started at the gym, you know, I'm, and I'm do, starting to do that, which, again, is something I never thought I would do. It, I mean, if you just go back, I mean, this ties into uh, eating, too. Uh, you know, you go back and look at what our ancient human bodies were used to doing. Yeah. And if you used to emulate some of that, uh, it seems like that is the yeah. answer to... to to happiness and to what your body wants yes. is like, you know, we haven't evolved different. Like the, the people that are around 10,000 years ago had our exact same body. Yeah. Or 20,000 years ago. Whatever you want to go. <laughs> yeah. we, they were the Wait same a I may species. have looked like everybody because wasn't everybody little? And then, <laughs> you know. Uh, a long time ago, we had to run a lot just to survive. Yeah, you know, yeah, they yeah. work hard as hell. Now yeah, I can yeah. get in my Tesla and it can ride me up to seven. Yeah, yeah, I don't even have to drive it. I just sit in there and have it drive me up to get Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> and you would barely eat. Sometimes you would go a couple days without yep. eating. So, like, you know, there is some drinking alcohol. You and drink fasting alcohol. And, and then all we had to eat was real food. Like yeah. sometimes some meat. Sometimes we'd go a long time without yeah. meat, and it was just foraging. And then, you know, it's like, and then it's like, all right, if you do a little bit of that and keep your mind uh, healthy and, you know, you just keep moving, you Has, will be, like you said, 80% better, and which yeah. is an insane amount it, better. It made a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has like, it, I feel better. Has it made a difference, you feel like, in your productivity and your creative side of things? Yeah. Yeah, I Can really, I, the, I do feel like I feel better. You know, it, 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 it actually has, like, I mean, when I'm getting on the run, sometimes I'm listening to, like, podcasts, you know, yeah, like yeah, business yeah. things. But then some lately, you know, since joining the group, I'm taking my headphones off, and I'm just enjoying outside. Tom thinks people that do that are insane. Uh, you know what? I did, too. I really <laughs> raw dog not. the world. Really you did. just raw dog the world, and you're just I, running yeah. down the trail, and I, you're just listening to cars. My and... headphones died the one time, and yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, this happened to me. Yeah. What am I going to do? I left mine. I had to run around Baldwin, and I left yeah. mine at home. I let it run around like, here. And I was like, screw this. I'll just do it without it. Raw dogging the world. Yeah, it's and, a lot. And then I, yeah, and lot. I started noticing. I was like, well, I've never noticed this before. And yeah. Then, then I get into my own head and then just, you know, think about all these. And then I was like, it's over. Like, it, it's weird. And I was like, man, that was What's like over? a four. For the run. Oh, the I thought you meant yeah, exactly what you're, you, you get into. <laughs> and then I was I like, you were getting really sad. You're like, it's over. And I'm like, I think I just meditated for yeah. like 25 yeah. minutes you did. because, yeah. because that, that, I think that's yeah, what yeah. meditation that's called is. Dumb people meditation. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. What they call like that. your Stupid, brain, stupidation. <laughs> your brain will just it, like. It, and then I'm like, oh my god, I think I've been ruining my brain just by constantly 
bombarding it with uh, TikTok. I've been telling you. <laughs> I've been telling you. Stimulation. Get off TikTok. He told you this. He told you the first thing he said is, "I don't want to do TikTok. I'm not going to do that." I'm just. I'm like. I'm constantly stimulating my brain every second, and then I'm like, "Man, maybe I should just not stimulate my brain for half an hour a day." Well, just and then my favorite part of the day. This is not not BS. I'm not making a joke. Yeah. My favorite part of the day is I go like after I've done working out or whatever to take a shower and get clean and I comb my hair and I get in like, you know, just like lounge clothes and I like to lay on the bed with my dog and I listen to classical music for like 20 oh. minutes. Yeah. I just lay there and I just, I just do nothing. <laughs> yeah. I can think well, about things, I, but I try not to. I try not to yeah, do yeah, work a... stuff. I try to do the thing that the stupid headspace app and every person that teaches you meditation, just let the thoughts drive all around. Let them just go where they so, want to go. I started about a year ago. I started acupuncture. Okay. Oh, I like then, that. I love acupuncture. Yeah. Oh my! I've only God. done I, it like four times. But... It is fantastic. Really, it has yeah. a stigma to it. I know. <laughs> I, I, I made an acupuncture video. A lot of people think it's video cuckoo that crazy is chiropractic. <laughs> really mad. Yeah. yeah, it's the only video I've ever had to take down. Like I had to take it down. It had the most hate content. Really? Oh, yeah. I lost hundreds of subscribers in minutes. Oh my God! <laughs> they were calling him the yeah. N word. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is going what do you on? Do? Like, why why are people so mad about? I couldn't. I couldn't get over how mad people were. But I mean, on, it's I, a weird thing to get mad about. <laughs> yeah, it is. That, it's like, you know what? It's that like you're vegetarian and bonsai trees. People get mad <laughs> yeah. at that stuff. Yeah. But like that, I mean, it's that same type of thing. You're sitting for 30 minutes or an hour, whatever yeah. it is, and you're just zoned out. Like, I mean, it's just like, you just feel like you're like floating. You know yeah, I mean? I like it. And there's, yeah. and I've found like, I've found certain things that are pleasing to my ears and I use those as meditation. Yeah. For instance, there's a new. Uh, Brandon Godden from Madden. I don't know if anybody plays Madden, but mm. he's the announcer on Madden. He's also the announcer for the Atlanta Braves. I like his demeanor. I like his delivery. Very professional. He knows a lot of stuff. He doesn't stumble. You know, when he yeah. talks, it's like very direct. And they got this other guy that, that's like a, a broadcaster for the Atlanta Braves. Another guy with a really great voice. And then their sideline guy, they added another guy with another great voice. And I will lay there and I can put in a, and you have to keep the, the volume low. And I can just listen to a baseball game and I can just take like 10 very huge breaths just listening to it put myself to sleep. Every single night. Really? Really? Every single night. It's the combination of these guys' voices plus the low rumble of the crowd. It's almost like a brown noise. Like, ah, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's just the cadence of the way that they talk, you know, and it, 10 big breaths, go to sleep. So it's awesome. So, Mark, I know this is not a weird job Wednesday, but I got to ask yeah. you, like, so it's nice this to check in with him, though, and see what he's been but up this to. This is your primary, like, primary job. Yeah. yeah. He's and, a manager, dude. And do uh, you have a manager? I, your wife? Do, uh, no, Crystal no, no, Van? No, no, I'm my own manager. I don't need, okay. my own. <laughs> I don't need a manager. Okay. Uh, don't well, tell well, me what to do. <laughs> 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 That's what you think the manager does. <laughs> Go to Tom and Dan stash. Get over there, you idiot. I don't uh, want to. Uh, I'm joking. I definitely need a manager. Um, but so, we need handlers. So I want a conservatorship. Yeah. What is your primary source of income? Like uh, your cookbooks, your sauces, selling stuff. Is it advertising? Is it? Um, Please say only fans. Do you have? Yeah. Please say only fans. Do you have oh, okay. some sort of Patreon type subscriber that pays you directly uh, through your you know your audience? How does that work? I mean, so it's a little of everything, but it's uh, I would say it's forty percent, uh, maybe thirty percent advertising, like YouTube AdSense. You okay. Know? Uh, and then maybe 40%, 50% even um, uh, brand like sponsorships on every video. Nice. Okay. That, that's a majority of it. But then, you know, the, the book and, and the sauce and Facebook monetization. And I mean, there's just uh, the revenue dozens streams, of oh, yeah, other yeah, yeah, yeah. Reven smaller revenue streams. But most of it is, I mean, YouTube is my, that's like my bread and butter. That's where I live. Um, that that's the main the main source YouTube ad rev and sponsorships. I love it. Are you surprised that uh, like the amount of listeners you have around the world? Like uh, have uh, do you have listeners in Europe and Australia? Oh yeah, like, uh, and uh, Japan. Like yeah. it starts getting weird. You're like whoa. Like you know because YouTube, uh, you have access to the world. Uh, you get Most pockets. Of, yeah. You get pockets of, and I'm sure certain countries that are vegan probably uh, gravitate towards. Yeah, you. I yeah. mean, so I, I would say a majority. I, I'm I, a large majority of my audience is here in the U.S. I mean, it, I think it's like 60, 70 percent, something yeah. like that. Um, but then I do have like a European and 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 Canada is a big deal. Um, 
but really it's there, there's pockets of people kind of like everywhere you yeah, know? yeah yeah um but yeah most of my most of my audience is u.s based and it's like most of it's like our age you know 30s 40s um what's the future plan where do you go now i mean the health thing's going well the channel's still doing fine the sauces are well is yeah it more sauces yeah, more sauces. That yeah. is a thing we're working on. I'm, I'm working on a recipe right now for a. Um, gosh, I almost. I don't know if I should give it away. Oh, don't give I'm it working, away. We're on a recipe away. for a, for a vegan hot honey. Okay. Um, and oh. I've nailed it. I'm really excited. So we're, we're gonna see if we figure out how to cool, get that. Cool, man. Very um, cool. Yeah, it's really good. Hot so, honey is uh, really in right now. Yeah, My wife, yeah, yeah. Every pizza we get has to have some sort of spicy honey on it. And, yeah. I and, love it. And I know we were talking about this uh, out front with my wife, but like a, a local vegan restaurant that she really liked uh, recently closed down. Yeah. And it seems to happen where a vegan restaurant will pop up like all the vegans and vegetarians are uh, in town are excited yeah. about it. Yeah, you but, were just telling me about it. But this. they can't yeah. they, they don't have enough support like and they try. And my wife was like, let's go here. I went with her. It's a great place. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, it, they, they can't get the business aspect or, you know, or it's just not enough business to keep them afloat. Yeah. Um, and, and that, I think sometimes I think the stigma hurts them. Like, whereas if you just, yeah. lay, if it were just a restaurant, follow me with this. If it just said restaurant and it just had good food that was all vegan based, it would do better in my mind. Than a restaurant that says vegan or calls themselves like nothing but veg. Like well, I'm like, actually, no, don't do that. But they there need was a the recent hardcore. study that was yeah. that was done. About Is that, that a thing? Yeah, that's actually a thing. Like I, I, I've even because it says on there like the first vegan steak sauce, which is funny because that's kind of like a joke. But yeah, you know, it, we were going back and forth if we should take it off or not. Um, For your guys though, I, I think they'd see the joke. It, yeah, it makes yeah, sense. So I hope works. people see it. You know? Yeah, uh, but it, it's you know I think there is like a little bit of a thing there where it's there's enough orlando's been known as like one of the better supporting communities for vegan food yeah um a lot of restaurants you know you go to different cities you could see it like you go to like a restaurant they have zero vegan options where here in orlando you can go just about anywhere and get a vegan option which is really great um and and i think that's part of the reason me personally i mean if i were just to guess you know my wife and i talk about it a lot but but we can really go just about anywhere and get a good plant-based meal yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Uh, we are pretty lucky. Yeah, we we really are. We and we have a lot of good food. Yeah, and that's so, sort of my point is that I think if it were just like, oh, you just go to the restaurant because like I eat plant based a lot because my wife does. Yeah, but it's not. It's like it's just not labeled as anything. It's just like we're eating dinner. Yeah, you're just going to dinner. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I just eat the food. And it's yeah. like it, when you say vegan, mm -hmm. I even catch myself going, like, I don't. And I'm like, no, just eat the food. Yeah, and it's usually delicious. Yeah, and maybe that just time will fix that because we're just going through the transition period because. I like you know we tell the story all the time the old chili Ch cook-off cook where, yeah. where I made my chili we just didn't add meat as the protein oh, yeah. and, and there's people, no difference people I've heard you talk about found it was like oh this is vegetarian people were disgusted by it then moved next door to the rattlesnake chili <laughs> yeah. you know like it's the same taste yeah. there's, yeah. No, there's difference no difference in taste whatsoever they were disgusted that the fact that it was vegetarian I mean, actually, and that is indoctrination it yeah. is, it is. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the programming you know well, like for way... somebody with no gallbladder right like i'll tell you how it's not gross because like it has less fat so for me eating the vegetarian chili is a far more less gross option it doesn't well, have you know than like, the kangaroo absolutely <laughs> then, like, yeah. the, the, the funny thing is is like the textured vegetable protein which is like a main thing in a lot of plant-based yeah yeah that, that, it's one of its original like one of the things that you originally found it in was like Hormel chili. Like, I mean, that was like, it was like 50% meat, 50% textured protein. So people have had it. Like if you've had like Salisbury steak, half of that is textured protein. So it's like, you've probably been eating it for years and just didn't know it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I crumbles. Mean, fast I food. love me some crumbles. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I'll eat, I, mean, I don't care what they come from. I'll eat them. Have They're you good. looked at a fast, like tacos? a fast food gray hamburger patty? Yeah. <laughs> do you Whoa. think that is, how, oh. what kind of meat do you think that is? Yeah. You know, like, like, as a, as a young boy, yeah. I did like, I, I did enjoy, and this is disgusting, but I did enjoy when the lunch lady would go in with the tongs and pull out one of those wet gray boys, <laughs> oh God. like a flat, cool. red, a flat gray wet boy right out of the water and slap it on a bone. Oh, uh, uh, Mark, thanks so much for coming yeah, by. Appreciate, I appreciate you, man. You for you want, uh, where can everybody find, if they want to buy the sauce or check out all of your videos and follow along, where would everybody go? So you can find me at Sauce Stash everywhere. Uh, the sauce is at NotSteakSauce.com. And uh, I, I'm the sauce dash guy on Instagram. There you go. The yep. sauce dash I'm, guy I'm on Instagram. Definitely going to get your book because my Thank wife you. loves uh, vegan cookbooks. She also and... likes, she's adventurous. And she did make, I'm going to just give her her flowers. She did make some vegan 
hot dogs one time that were carrots. Uh -huh. And then she did the whole, like, the marination of yeah, them yeah, and yeah. grilled them in the grill marks and everything. And I very much enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and I do. give her her flowers. They were very good. When yeah. you get the book, get the, there's a the jackfruit chicken recipe in there that I'm telling you, it is just, it is wild. It is right. so mind-blowing. Yeah. Make that for your wife. Make yeah, her right, some right. jackfruit chicken. Maybe, uh, yeah. It was too hard for me. <laughs> 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 it was too hard. I'm so lazy. All, All right, guys. Bye-bye. All right, thank you, buddy. We're still. Yeah, that was awesome. That was, awesome. That was great. That, yeah, that, that was, was super fun. Yeah, thank that was such much. a good time, man. Yeah, thank man. you. Let me get this out of your way here. Such and thanks for the time. sauce, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Ex I'm excited oh, sure, to try I that. I brought you a book too. Oh no, it's all good. I want, I want to. We like the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to buy it from you. Where do you, you want to put this tea, just real quick? Um, that is Monday three and four. Monday three and four. Thank you, buddy. How you doing? Good. I, you know what would have been funny if he walks out there and he's like, so we meet again. <laughs> you know we didn't talk about the show, but it's so funny to me. It's like, okay, we're, 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 we're in the, like, you have more subscribers than the entire fucking radio station combined, every single person on the radio station combined, and the radio station, right? So it's like, so you are a, it, it's like, by, if you're just going by analytics, uh, in the you know have way more influence than anything of uh, what we do. Because it's crazy because yeah. it's like I look at you guys. Like, I know it's, 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 it's just, just perception. Like, yeah. So what the hell? That's some weird indoctrination too. It's like yeah, I'm on the yeah, radio. Yeah. What the fuck? That means shit. <laughs> 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 he's not wrong. He's not wrong. That's what I'm saying. Like, only, like, we'll have the radio signal only goes out 100 miles around. Yeah. And it's like, we are putting you on uh, some archaic form of media that actually it's like we drew a It's like we drew a bad picture of you on a piece of paper and I sent it to one person. <laughs> but it's so funny how the world perceives it. And then because still society is like, oh, you're on the radio. Uh, yeah. We got a little it's Jesse like, Wool. Oh yeah, you guys get you guys are getting all the tea of Tom spinning out of control. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. This is a this is a fun one today. We're so far ahead that we're like now just calling friends to come in and and take stuff. And this is cool, man. This has got all stuff in it I like: miso, orange habanero, tomato, raw sugar. This looks great. Yeah, so check that out. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, EJ, dude, you're sick. I'm sorry, buddy. I was being mean to you this morning. I didn't know you were sick. I would not have. I would have not thrown out um, bombs if I knew. Uh, you were feeling bad. I hope you feel better, buddy. Something's going around. I got a lot of friends that are sick. Oh, let's get a photo. Let's get a photo. Grab your sauce, Tom. Uh, I'm glad you remember. I'm, I'm real bad today. Yeah, yeah, remembering everything. Yeah, please. Don't look at my details. They're super small. My God, it looks like a kickstand. I'm like a gross human being. I am going to set this behind me, so, like, uh, 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 remember any of the barbecue sauce? Yeah. That's uh, funny. Water. Jesse, you want to grab a seat on the couch? Sounds good. Hit, yeah, me, yeah. hit me up, man. I'll grab yeah. it up to any way I can. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You want um, a little pour of water or something? Jesse? Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll just drink a water. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Tom, if you want to go for a run sometime, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Run yeah. DMT, they're getting ready to get started. It's a cool brew. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, I'm going to start doing it because, like, I'm doing this triathlon in June. Jesus. So I got a month. Um, so I didn't. I ran yesterday. It, uh, but I'm going to continue because what it did, forcing myself to do this triathlon, forced me to work out six days a week. Yeah. And then I, and then I'm like, I like this. And I'm going to continue to do it. Yeah. So I'm going to start at least run two or three days a week because out of all of them, 
cycling never got me. Swimming, I can't even get a yeah. fucking rhythm, you know. Yeah. But the running seems to be like I'm okay with. I get a rhythm and I just keep going. So yeah, I'll hit you up because yeah. I yeah, let me, these guys are great. I mean, it's 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 really cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. My wife did one with uh, one of our listeners, Simone. Who's a runner and she trained Chris Mickage, the guy, the first guy with Down syndrome. Good to see you, dude. Thanks again for coming yeah, in. Thanks. Let's so do it again, man. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'd yeah, love to do it. Because then next time we'll just talk like in smaller and regular stuff. Like, regular. Good to see you, dude. What's up, bro? How are you, man? I'm good, man. Dude, my girlfriend, <laughs> she <laughs> thinks you're the funniest guy. Ever. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. The other day, she was like, Oh, what, when I cut her out in front of you? <laughs> dude, she's like, she's like, he's literally like one of my favorite humans. <laughs> Well, please thank her for that. That means a lot. Yeah, I'm a little weird. And, uh, and let me. Let's well, the see. fun ones are. Are you going to go over there? If you want. Yeah. Whatever you're more comfortable with. That's a good mic, so it doesn't matter. I good mean, you, yeah. Uh, better lighting over here. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you, buddy. And then do I she, take my pants off now? Or? Yeah, you can take your pants off now and then just go ahead and bend over. It's <laughs> only going to take a second. <laughs> it's only going to take a second. Um, yeah, like it was funny. I was going up there and I was like, I was putting air. I was trying to put air in the tires. Oh. And then. Uh, of the scooter and i went up to this wawa on i'll tell the listeners here i went up to the wawa on, and and then you were beside me and then you honked at me and then i'm like oh my god look over and you can see the wawa is like i didn't know they did this they keep the gas open and then they're like this wawa is closed for repairs or whatever so the whole interior is just being gutted and then i i look over and i'm like i don't think i can go in that one to like because i was going to get some drinks then yeah, fill yeah. up my air so I, like i asked you i was like is this a closure like yeah and i'm like oh god <laughs> and then so i take out and i cut around with my loud it's so loud isn't it dude i it's so funny it's the loudest scooter it's my, my dad rides harley so he has his whole, his whole yeah, life yeah. Ah. And I keep joking because I had one when I was much younger, but around here it's a little nerve wracking. Like, yeah, you yeah. Know. it is. But I see the scooters, and I joke because my girlfriend wants a Vespa real bad. And oh, I'm that's like, so what great. if we started like a scooter gang? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I got a Vespa with like ape hangers. <laughs> you, can do that. you know, I'm like, a, you know, it'd yeah. be sick. That's what I. And we just go cruising down Park Ave, like, oh, we're gonna terrorize. I this did place. that. <laughs> I did. I did scooter Sundays, yeah. and we would meet up, and we would meet up at Johnny's other side. There's a lot of scooter men out there, and it was sponsored by Dos Equis, No which way, was dude! Fucking awesome, dude. Uh, that had to be a party. I would drink like 18 beers and then get on my scooter. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Stop. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's not. It's, don't do that. It's fine. I'm fine with it, <laughs> drinking and driving on a scooter. <laughs> the time, the well, how much damage could you do on mailbox? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 no, no, I the guess, mailbox would kill me. <laughs> that's what I mean. You're losing that battle every time. Right? I guess a car could swerve to miss oh, you yeah. and kill their whole family, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an outlier. It's, it's an, an outlier. outlier. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Statistically, it's, it's, it's like a golf yeah, cart. That's like a golf lightning cart. strike. That's like a really sad <laughs> lightning strike. All right, yeah. I think you look good. You yeah. okay? I saved that. Yeah. Thanks again for coming in last minute. I like yeah. that we're like we reached out to all of our super busy influencer friends. Yeah, like, and they all showed up. The same. Like we thought that someone would like. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, like they all agreed. Yeah, everybody agreed, and we we're like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we didn't have any guests yeah. today. And we're like, oh, let's reach out to a couple of people. Yeah. Everybody agreed. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> no, um, I was like, oh, dude, it's always a party coming here, so sure. I'm, I'm down. Well, I see you but, so much around here, and then normally yeah. it's just us yelling, and I'm yeah. on some scooter. Like, I'm like, ah. <laughs> now since I've been since I've been running around Baldwin, I uh, look at your videos and I recognize where you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> creepy. Like, this guy's a psychopath. He's <laughs> like, I know exactly where. <laughs> <laughs> are when you do your videos, Jesse. Tom, I'm watching you. Tom's hanging out in the shrub. Well, yeah. well, now he I'm runs on. shirtless around here, and he's like, I'm going to pop out shirtless. Yeah. I, I see all your videos <laughs> yeah. on TikTok. I, uh, you know, I'm going to pop out of the bushes and grab I, your I, ass. I've become the, uh, the cowboy uh, cart corraller. On, uh, on uh, and it's funny because Publix, dude. I want to talk about that. Oh, I saw your video about Publix giving you the gift. Uh, yep. Did you know oh, I got yeah, in a fight at that Publix because no. I told some Armenian man to, oh. to to he'd backed into the space and he threw a sushi thing just out of his door. Oh, dude, come on! And man. then shut the door and I was like, "Hey, are you gonna pick that up?" And he's like, "What? What? What the hell? Hey!" And then he got like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "Fuck you!" Fight! And I'm like, "Fuck you!" And he's like, "No!" He's dripping with rings. He's like, "No, yeah. fuck you!" And I'm like, oh, Fuck mad. you up, you fucking old man. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't understand that you shouldn't litter? He, and then if someone calls you out, oh, who's that, not ashamed? He was like, I oh, called shit. him out. I oh, called yeah, him I, out. I, I, do, I do it too. Yeah, I do you would have 
had to fought, fight that old man the way he was. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have said shit. I <laughs> would keep walking. No, but you would. I would have made you fight that old man because together, no, oh, together, I my, um, together, we're a superhero. I ride in his backpack. I love that. I love that. Guys, literate, and I pop out the backpack. I'm like, hey, motherfucker. Tom's gonna beat your ass. That's what my dad uses. He yells at Tom. Tom's like, I'm sorry. He just walks away. No, Tom's like, hey, draw it. Yeah. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. Okay, good warm up. <laughs> you want to start, buddy? It's just uh, so awkward fighting. Like I'll do it. I'm not afraid to. But then it's I'm what pulling you don't understand. And then you're gonna pulling okay. your hair. Here's what you don't understand. Pulling an Armenian. Here's what you don't understand. The Armenian man. He's scratching my face. He had a little ponytail. And I'm like, God damn it. Oh, see, okay, one. He had a little ponytail. What you don't understand is that man. He couldn't have beat me up. But he may have hurt. He could have hurt me or driven over me in his car. <laughs> but I'm prepared at any moment to run or fall down and play dead. I'll push a child yeah. in front of the car. I'll push a mom. And, like a ch- whatever it takes. You are the human armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> What's your fighting I'm style? I'm a humadillo. Yeah, 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 yeah. humadillo. Yeah, yeah, they run out. Remember the Humanzi? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a humadillo. <laughs> humadillo. That's our next. Hold on, write that down. Yeah. <laughs> Huma <laughs> Huma How do you spell Huma Dildo? H-U-M-A-D-I-L-L-O Make sure you don't add a D You get Huma Dildo Huma Dildo Huma Dildo You do You carry archaic diseases too Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Like, like leprosy in my butthole <laughs> And how was that discovered exactly? <laughs> I don't know the, you know, people still get like leprosy. Uh, the leprosy from our nose in Florida. I think, Florida. My, I think yeah. my dad thought though that any <laughs> disease you got from an animal was because you had you laid with it. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was very biblical. He's like, what? Those Mexicans slept with that armadillo. That's how they got AIDS. I'm like, dad, that's not how it works. <laughs> how they got he has no AIDS. science in his body. <laughs> <laughs> not one, yeah, not yeah. one percent of science. In my I just body. made it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fact, my dad, facts like, over feelings. I'm your dad, so. I'm also your scientist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dude, that could be a whole bit on its own. Oh, yeah. Oh, Florida dad. <laughs> Florida, Florida dad. You asked oh, me how shit. things work. <laughs> All right, buddy. Why don't you start? Where are you putting this? Um, Better. You know what? You uh, want to finish Monday and take Monday off? Well, no, we, <laughs> we still need. Uh, let's uh, let's just do Tuesday three. Okay. Here we Tuesday go. Tuesday three. And three, two. Welcome back to a corporate time. Uh, the influencer Jesse Wolf is here. How you doing, Jesse? <laughs> oh God, I'm an influencer now. It's official. Yeah, well, I made him off. Well, it's th- very, very good to see you. You good know, you guys. I'm so used to for years saying Jesse Wolf from Odang Hummus. <laughs> 15 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah. calling us yeah, radio yeah, guys. Yeah. We haven't been on yeah, radio yeah. for over a decade. Uh, up next, you interview <laughs> Jesse from Odang. We have Tom and Dan from the Monsters. <laughs> yeah, from the Monsters. <laughs> that still happens, but and, and I understand that's just. Uh, I had a guy psychology. yesterday. Psychology people, they know you from what you're. Starting I had a guy out. yesterday. Uh, yeah. To he emailed me congratulating Ross and Joel Ross Paget <laughs> on good sauce with Ross and Joel and he emailed me to congr- he said when are you gonna be back on radio <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not yeah. kidding yeah, yeah. <laughs> when are you gonna be back on radio still waiting <laughs> I didn't answer it's been taking a- over the Howard Stern <laughs> show I, did, now. I didn't even answer <laughs> we're coming on twelve years yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> although uh, it is ridiculous because this does get aired on real radio every single night it does for and now. The one decade, and we're celebrating it with a yeah. party for you know. And it's the celebration of the show you <laughs> never knew existed. <laughs> that's what, that's the way we should have branded Cheese it. Chucky Cheese Thursday from six to nine. Yeah, that's the way we should have branded it. Come celebrate ten years of something you never knew existed. <laughs> So, Jesse, um, I, and I know you, and I follow you on TikTok, so I see all your videos, and we're going to talk about the the Publix video, because that fascinates me, but um, so where have you settled in? What's your day-to-day routine? Because you are doing a bunch of, a, a bunch of different things, consulting, social media, uh, you know, I'm sure you've got your hand in a bunch of different businesses, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so wh- what's your day-to-day, Jesse? Uh, it, it's too much, okay, oh. we'll start with that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like to, I guess, always bite off more than I can chew, both for meals and for work. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I do right now. I'm still brand building. Yeah. So, you know, starting brands, launching brands. Uh, recently, in the last probably two years, it's been helping other brands that kind of get in pickles. You know, so we'll come in and, you know, I'll figure out what's wrong with them and kind of overhaul them and put them on a new track, trajectory, whatever it is. Um, and then, yeah, I do consulting on the side for uh contract work type stuff for all kinds of brands right whether it's new product development brand overhaul social media stuff and then uh you know kind of by default back and really my uh 
uh, Instagram slash TikTok trajectory all came out of COVID. You know, I got on there 2020. We're all bored, right? Yeah, yeah. And TikTok was kind of just becoming this thing. Um, And I was using it solely to understand what it was and how I could leverage it for business at the time. And then next thing I knew, I had like 60,000 followers on TikTok. And I'm like, you know, what? (laughs) You know, like what's happening here? That's quick. Yeah. Oh, it was it was nuts. It happened within like a few weeks. And uh, and it just kept trucking and trucking. And then I'll be honest, it got really overwhelming for like a minute, and I kind of backed off it, and, like quit sure. it for six months straight. Really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. Tell I was... us about that a little bit. Why'd you? What, what was going on? If you can, you know, it's funny because I remember years ago, and this is you know, social media. It got easier like post twenty twenty to go viral, right? It became, I mean, anybody can, and to this day, you still can. Before that, to go viral or to get big content going on on Instagram. You really had to be on a TV show or something. I mean, it was really hard. Or, you know, I mean, the algorithm was so difficult. Gotcha. Be YouTube, you know, big or whatever it is. Um, and then I had a friend that when I was part of Odang and, you know, on that whole thing, we were working with this girl and she was like, oh, yeah. I was like, what's it like having 200,000 followers on Instagram? She was like, I hate it. She goes, in fact, I quit it once and I came back. I'm like, why would you quit this? You know, she's like, oh, it's a lot of like, it's a lot to handle, like mentally wise. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You yeah, know, I was like, yeah. okay, I get it. You know, Maybe it's just because girls are weaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're a big guy. You know? like, you're like, let a lumberjack get a hold of it. Yeah. yeah let, like, I can handle 200,000 standing on my head. Yeah, I think I can handle millions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm a big, sensitive guy, though. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. I do cry yeah. at the end of most movies. You know, I'm very sensitive, too. <laughs> Including Super Troopers. I'm going to anyway. cry at the end of Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the. the... Uh, the day or the movie? No, the, no. the movie, Tuesday. Tuesday that's coming out with uh, Julia Louise Dreyfus that has no. the devil bird. Has the main, it's the mangy bird death. <laughs> no, it's a mangy death bird of death. No, I'll have to look into that. Do you want to cry together? You haven't heard that? You no. haven't seen that? And no. then the bird talks like this. It talks like it's like. Hello. <laughs> you and your daughter must prepare. For an extraordinary journey of sadness. Why was that so good? That's what it sounds like. The bird. The bird sounds like a god. It sounds like James Earl Jones. Yeah, some BDMs yeah. got uh, offended. We were making yeah, fun of it. So mad. I had to go back in there and say it's gotta be good. It's yeah. Hold on. I'm doubling down. <laughs> this <laughs> is stupid. Yeah. The bird. The bird is death. Tom's not backing down. But before no. get, I'm gonna guess the. Sh- I'm gonna guess this movie. Sorry, we're gonna tangent with you because we like you. Okay, I'm gonna we'll guess back. the ending of this movie, and I know nothing about it. The bird is death. The bird comes. The lady's got a terminally ill daughter. The bird comes and flies in, and then the lady is like a wheeler dealer. Like uh-huh. I can tell from the I watched the thing. She's like kind of a good mom, kind of a bad mom, conflicted. Like, and I think she's gonna like. I think there's gonna be some bargaining for the her, to to keep her child alive. The, Ooh, I'm just calling it right now. Spicy take. I'm not uh, an idiot. Spicy take, but I like. I'm just I like, saying this. She's gonna have to uh, give the bird a service. <laughs> a bird job. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give the bird a bird job. A bird job. Yeah. 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 Elaine, yeah. 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 a bird job. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be like it's gonna be. Like <laughs> <laughs> I will spare the life of your terminally ill daughter, if and only if you perform. A bird job on me. <laughs> ah, facts. Bet me. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there. So I know nothing of the movie. It's, it's on the right. Re- I mean, it sounds like a don't, great movie. Don't at so, me. Don't say spoilers. Don't I'm guessing because nothing is good. No. <laughs> so, Jesse, back to the pressure uh, and what she was facing and what you faced. Uh, like, uh, tell me about because a lot of people don't. Like have no concept of this, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With like because there is an amount. I mean, we it's funny because we feel it less with social media, but more with the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. It's like the pressure to do do good content daily yeah. and stuff like you know. And it's so wait, I can understand it in that uh, aspect. So tell me about it, it. It's you know it's one of those things where uh, everyone on social media has a chance to say something, right? They can voice their opinion yeah. at will. Uh, and there's not a whole lot you could do about it, right? And the the catch twenty two is, you need the commenting, right, and the engagement for the videos to go viral, right? So you're trying to encourage good conversation and, and that type of stuff. And back then, I was doing a lot of like getting back to me, taking care of me, because like I drove myself on the ground a couple years before that with 
you know, Odang getting it into like 30 some thousand stores and all that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> my whole thing was focusing on me, right? Like, you know, taking myself back mentally, physically, the whole nine yards. Um, you know, and everyone had something to say, right? It was, you know, you're fat. <clears throat> you're not going to do it. I or, got that yesterday. Oh, I got one of those. Yeah. I, got, uh, I thought Tom was the fat one. I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I, I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I like your new profile picture. It didn't look like me. Oh, thanks. Speaking of which, it's a devil bird. <laughs> I like I thought it was. I thought it was the Tuesday devil, the Mangy Tuesday devil bird. <laughs> <laughs> Toucan Samba just, you know, blacked out. So yeah, the, yeah. the comments, uh, just the negative. The, the, you know. They were all over the place. And then, you know, it was like people would fight in the comment section. I'm like, my God, I'm like stirring this up, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then I'd get. So then uh, you feel responsible for it because you're like, well, if I didn't make this video, there wouldn't be all this fighting and negativity. It's like the negativity was well, probably Well, there was that piece. And then, dude, I was getting a lot of like people DMing me saying like, you know, you saved my life, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm just a guy that goes on walks in the morning, you know. And the fact that there's so many people out there struggling just in yeah, any yeah. capacity. Oh, yeah, that makes total sense. It was, it was got deep on That's me pretty heavy. quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you a know. lot to carry you didn't ask for. And then they have a, uh, they have a, an open portal, right, to your, to you. Well, and, and, you and so I put myself in, in their shoes because, I mean, obviously sure. I don't still see myself as like an influencer per se. But when you see a celebrity, you know, or whatever you follow on a daily basis, the people, the athletes, whatever – you, you feel like you know them because you get to watch them, but they have no idea who you are. Yeah. So when you see them and they come up to you and they're like, you know, oh, you're all, hey, LeBron, you know, what's up? He's like, you know, how do you know my name? Like, to me, I'm like, everybody knows LeBron James, right? But he doesn't know who we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he you're- knows who I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel confident he From the bird movie, right? Well, no, I stand in, I used to stand in his bushes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd expose myself. <laughs> Jesse. You uh, thought I was a gnome. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's talk- <laughs> Let's talk about this because um, uh, me and Daniel uh, is. I don't know Dan what you're about to say. And you do that a lot. Well, Dan <laughs> Daniel's been um, spicy uh, doing Incoming. radio since '97, '96. E when the hell did you start yeah. interning with Ed Tell? I'm gonna like that. say '96. Yeah, Ju like junior it. high, yeah. morning. So '96. Uh, we're coming on 30 GD years. Oh my years, god, I am know? coming up on 30 years. And then stop, I, stop two stop years that. to 30. <laughs> you know, I, I, 30 <laughs> years of broadcasting, dude. That's insane. I started. Uh, we should probably burn the place down. I'm okay with it, but people live above them. <laughs> in, like interning and radio. You know what it did do? Uh, in, this is a separate kind of tangent. Yeah, but, yeah, do it. But, um, you know, we, we, Daniel started as an intern, too, and so did mm -hmm. I, you know, 20 years ago. And uh, But it, it brought us into entertainment slowly, where all of a sudden, like, some people knew who you were, and then others people. And then, and then we, you know, after doing it for so uh, long. The process. I, Paying but, your dues. And, yeah. I, and I tell people this on, like, the Tom and Dan cruise who are about to go on or any sort, of, any sort of event we do. People will con the number one thing uh, that I hear throughout my entire career was, "Isn't it weird that I know everything about you and you don't know who I am?" Yeah. And then I'm like, "It's weird to you, but I'm so used to it. I'm glad because now I could talk to you like my friend. Yeah, because you know exactly, who I right. am. You know about it. So now uh, we don't have to small talk. It, you know, it, immediately I go into a conversation with the listeners yeah. as if they know everything about me. I don't need to know about them. I'll ask them about themselves. Oh, I yeah. know about. But, but, but you know, I like, can look at any. One of our listeners would be like, I know exactly. I what know you're your about. entire I know story, you bud. Up to sundown, but, but here <laughs> yeah, you nuts. watched the bird movie. Yeah, I, I saw it. I know all about. But it. here is the our like uh, I guess uh, the, the good part about what we've done for so long is that our listeners are like us. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, then, yeah, yeah. so then it's like they, that person because all we talk about is uh, our own lives that they're probably in some way like me or Daniel. Yeah. yeah. So that makes it a lot easier yeah. and. And I've always said this: if your uh, audience yeah, like is is like different than you, harder to talk to that person because uh, you know. And so with you and having such a gigantic audience, you know, relative to us, it's like now you're talking to people that are completely outside of uh, your even your personality or something. Like, yeah. And then that's that's more stressful because then all of a sudden, if we had a bunch of listeners that weren't like us. I would be stressed out by it because I'd be like, whoa, I don't really have anything in right. common with this person. And now they're like, it is like, especially if we're doing content about anything besides our own particular lives. But I don't there. think that would happen. I don't think that's possible, really. 
well, we don't have, we're not doing, like, if we did a murder show or something. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right, 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 like, right. So now our Which listeners would be dope, by the way. Are, you know, are into murder. <laughs> I don't like murder. Well, <laughs> I, am anti, I am anti-murder. Well, I, I get a lot of heat for that. I am not the true, I'm not your true crime guy. You're not a true crime guy. I, no, but I, I yeah. am a little it depresses bit, me. I'm a little bit dumb old man yeah. where I go anti, I am a little <laughs> bit anti-true crime because I'm like. It's too heavy. Why are we making this like. You're, you're more like dull men's club type guy. Exactly. Which yeah, is yeah. dope. I yeah. just joined a Facebook group, the Doll Men's Club. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, this is riveting. I'm so. into that. But I'm like, I'm a, I'm anti the, like, I don't know why. It's like a whole economy of a, we're making oh. money off of famous murder people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's crazy. But it's just like, for me, it's just downer. It's like, oh, oh yeah. It's like too heavy for me. Like, I like light on the surface nonsense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you or, like her. Or, like, I think I like more nonsense yeah. and you like human achievement. No, I know. I have a more documentary. Anyway, but <laughs> so back to you, Jesse. So And I like um, pornography. Yeah, oh, same. I yeah. mean, uh, so, huge on that. so you have yeah. this huge, huge audience, <laughs> and you're you're doing content, and then people are reaching out to you with the "Hey, you've saved my life," which is heavy, and then other Dude. people are insulting you. And you know, but you probably get yeah. like, "I'm gonna kill myself too." Well, I'll tell you what. What really threw I've me? I've gotten a couple of those. Yeah. I get a lot of those actually, and I. <laughs> No, I, I try to help them. You know? I say like, I always try to help, and them. it's deep, right? And yeah. like you feel bad. You're like, you know that I've always. No, I don't. I, I don't I'll know. write back to every single person that writes uh-huh. me with something super sad. Yep. You will get help from me. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's just <laughs> same. But same it's, all day long. it's a maritime law. You yeah. got to do it. I've never gotten one. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like no one. Yeah, reaches but you're out. not. I'm gonna kill yourself, guy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right. People reach out to Daniel. I'm and, more in the spectrum. Like they'll tell Daniel they're uh, like you know um, yeah. the stuff that's going on. I had a guy. No one tells me. I had a guy last night via email tell me like some bad things he did to his family and how he regretted it <laughs> yeah and i'm dude. like you didn't need to tell yeah, me it, that but thanks for listening and, and what the people share on the internet's wild right i mean i like, think it's freeing because they know that i'm not connected to them right yeah and i think it's freeing to let somebody know and test it it's like te- you're testing clearing your conscience or you're testing saying to somebody how you truly it's like feel. a therapist it is like a therapy and, and they launch it to me and yeah. i don't judge them i'm like well no, i don't yeah. i'm not gonna write back to you i'm gonna support you because you support the show that's as deep as it gets for me it, and the other thing too is i think they they sometimes wonder if like you even see it or respond to it you know i think because again like therapy like i'm just gonna throw this out of the void get it off my chest and like maybe they'll respond back maybe they won't but i you know i'm like you know it's like if it's something deep or whatever i'm i'll try to say something i mean it was a point. I had a little Facebook group, uh, again in like 2020, 2021, where it was like, "Hey, man, we're all just trying to like get healthier." Right? That was the point nice. of the group, and like it was outside the box of like your typical like bull crap fitness stuff. You know what I mean? Where it's some jack dude or jack chick, you know, trying to sell you fitness. Yeah. It was like, dude, I'm out of shape. I suck at this. Like, do you guys want to like do this with me? You know? Yeah. Uh, and one of the members in there got a tattoo of our logo on his calf, and I was like. Holy shit, dude! Yeah, I was like, just, that is that yeah. is like the size of a softball, and that is super real. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm like, whoa. And yeah, <laughs> and it starts getting. We're like, whoa, that's a farther than I thought that you would take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, dude, we we just talked to you. Um, that's radio style. She had a girl that got monsters of the midday tattooed <laughs> above her. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we've got tons of listeners that got BDM, but tattoos. not above the you know what? Yeah, yeah not that above, is an old not time. above the old garage. Yeah, you know that what I mean? is a that's that's there for life. So, it, like, it, it's interesting because you you know we all kind of especially in our age we look at social media as like almost a throwaway, right? Because yeah, yeah. that's how we started consuming it yeah, as yeah. a throwaway. We're like, oh, look at this new Facebook thing. I'm just gonna p- uh, put pictures of what my dinner looks like. <laughs> you know, what I'm yeah. Like? And then oh, and then all of a sudden else. you're like oh. you're like, whoa, I'm resident with people and it's it, it's it meaningful to people and yeah. then th- now they're getting a tattoo of this Facebook group I just started for fun like hey this could and then like and now it becomes like almost religion-y because yeah. that's how human psychology and is and that's where it was going yeah. it was wild yeah to the point where Which that's you, where the power comes by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the next yeah, thing yeah, you know, yeah, you're they'll, branding they'll, uteruses. <laughs> and you're like, you got robes on. Yeah, you got that's a jaggy dagger. Well, do like, you have a jaggy they'll dagger? They'll do it not yet. <laughs> on order from uh, Yeah, you need a wavy <laughs> jaggy dagger. And then you're holding it over a virgin. I, you know? I did just place a, an offer for a small camp in the middle of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we going all right? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, what yeah, are we yeah. doing? Little Danny jaggy dagger. Tops are required. Bottoms are not. So just for the record. So oh when you took God. your break, um, what was there a final straw, or is it just like I got to step away? Yeah, I mean it was just a lot because like I said, it was it was all different flavors coming in, right? It was a lot of hate. I mean, I it's funny because I have a friend that's super fit, jacked, and you know he he the dude's all natural, you know, works his 
tail off to get that figure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and everyone's like steroids, steroids, and you know, drugs. And he's like, probably hurts him just as much. It, 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 we talk yeah. about that, you know, because it's like here I am trying to better myself in a lot of ways, right? And I'm getting slaughtered for you're fat, you're not going to do it. Then he's over here in ridiculous shape. Stero- it's, so we both sat there and talked about it during that break, and I was like, people are just angry. You know, and like it, it, in any way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. and I got it a lot you know, through through my entrepreneurial journey, but it was different because it was directed at the business, not necessarily me per se. But yeah. when you put yourself out there, it's all directed at you. Yeah, yeah. So I started kind of thinking and reflecting through that time frame, and I was like, dude, if you look at big celebrities, right, the Kardashians, they've built their billion dollar fortune off of this. Yep. So they don't shy away from the negative comments; they fuel into it. Yeah. That's why they're always creating drama and they want people to talk shit about them, right? I mean, that's just what they do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the more I thought about that, I was like, that's social media. Like, you know, everybody's got an opinion. Everyone wants to say something. There's good, there's bad, there's everything in between. You know, so uh, over the last probably like 12 to 15 months, I started leaning heavy into that. And, like, you have to really process that mindset psyche. Like, all those negative comments that will come in, I go in there and I stir the pot now yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and I get them amped up and dude, I'll tell you right now, it takes a video from, or, you know, whatever, a post from 10,000 views to a hundred K in hours to 500 K to a million. So like the other day, I give did me a, an example of you leaning in a little bit. Okay. I'll give yeah. it, I'll give yeah. it a great one. Okay. 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 So, uh, Jersey Mike's has a day of giving, right? I'm in uh, those commercials. Video. Have you seen me in those commercials? No. Oh, yeah. How good am yes. I? How good am I in the you Jersey Mike's? You are fantastic yeah. in I, those commercials. I remember when I saw you, you are like, I'm going to eat Jersey Mike's at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm like, he's doing it. I'm going for good stuff, yeah, yeah. Mom. I'm like, this is By the, the way, content I've been waiting for. He's been all about blueberries and health yeah, yeah, before, yeah, yeah, but yeah, now yeah, he's Jersey. Yeah. I'm like, I can get behind that Jersey Mike's. That is my daughter's favorite restaurant. Jersey right. Mike's. If yeah. given the choice of any restaurant, oh, yeah, yeah. she is Jersey. She, uh, she wants yeah. to change her name to Jersey Mike Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. Yeah, little little she, J Mike. Oh, she loves, dude, she's Jersey Mike's for life. So, uh, big fan. I mean, food's obviously awesome. I the, do like their subs. The, I the, do. C- the company's great, right? So, they do this day of giving. Once yeah, a yeah. Year. We've been, uh, we participated with. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Don. Our, yeah, Don Price yeah. from uh, when, when he's working with uh, Jersey Mike's. Yeah. He was the former uh, sexton of Greenwood Cemetery oh, here nice. in Orlando. Okay. And yeah, we've participated before where we've sent our listeners out to on the day of giving to yep. just because they're going to give. Is it all the money? All the money. Yeah, it's not even yep. a percentage. They big dog it. Yeah. They're like, we're giving it all. And is that a marketing thing in Jersey Mike's? Uh, I'm sure uh, it's a tax write off. Okay. Like, well, I'm saying, did they contact you? To- no, oh, so okay. here's how it happened. It's funny because, you know, I love Jersey Mike's. Yeah. So every once in a while, I'll do a video with them, like, just about their product because it's, you know, delicious. And they'll reach out. I'm like, thanks, man. So the Cannonball Kids Foundation, which is Kids Cancer Research, and, and we have a, a, a chapter here in Orlando. Long story short, my friend is part of that. She's like, hey, all the Jersey Mike's Central Florida are giving to us that day. She's like, is there any way, you know, you'd be able to help us raise awareness for it? I'm like, dude, done, nice. of course. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the traditional is, hey, guys, go there, you know, for today, and everything goes to this foundation in our area. Well, you know, that's that's the stuff that, like, nobody pays attention to. So instead, I was like, what's going to trigger a bunch of comments? A fat dude eating subs, right? Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, that's how the internet sees it. Oh, when I saw it, I clicked on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He did. I was going to eat him breakfast, lunch, he and dinner. He did yeah. say, this is not his typical health content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, which is yeah. so funny because my health content, it, it, does, it does one of two things. Every once in a while, it'll get picked up, okay? And, like, it's just people calling me fat. But the stuff that provides value... It doesn't get fueled. And I'm like, this is so, like, frustrating, right? Yeah, it's the internet. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so I have one video that does, like, 10K, but it's, like, 30 fat comments. I'm like, well, if I'm going to get called fat, I might as well lean we, into this. Oh, yeah. like, like, I'm going to troll the trolls. That's what I tell myself now, right? Yeah, That's my yeah, motto. Yeah. So I do this day of giving, and I'm like, what's going to what's gonna set them sideways? And I'm like, breakfast, lunch, dinner, Jersey Mike's. And, dude, combined, I think, between TikTok and Instagram, those videos got like 1.8 million views. Wow. Yeah, in like three days. That's I mean, insane. Yeah, we blew the wheels off. I think I was one of, if not the biggest, uh, influencer for that whole campaign. Wow. Like like viral content wise. Congrats. Uh, yeah, That's it was very all, cool. Yeah, I raised a ton of, uh, of eyeballs on the on the charity. And do you worry about because and and I've and, and we'll make it real. I've always worried about this because I don't know yeah. about it. We were talking about me broadcasting for 30 years. I've never handled the constant judgment that part of this of what we do well 
yeah, yeah, and there and I've had a weird relationship with it my entire career because it's funny. I've done it long enough to see where no one can get a hold of you, and now everybody can get a hold of you. Yeah. So I see the differences in it. Do you it's worry wild. at all that on the back end you're going to need to do something to almost help yourself, your your subconscious rather, not be affected by this? Because sometimes, like, I've even thought about this with you and I. Like, we're unmerciful to each other. Yeah. And we are knocking each other around. But it's because we care about each other. Yeah. We have a business, and obviously it works. But, like, you can't do it. Sometimes I, I am a believer, and you can't do it without stopping yourself, checking yourself, and go like, okay, remember. Like, you know, like, giving yeah. yourself, well, like, a self-checkup to make sure that you're not affecting your 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 brain in a in a in a truly negative way because it is like you're almost like you're almost like immersing yourself into negativity oh yeah 100 deliberately yeah, right yeah so how do you manage that in a way to to make yourself like not i don't know how do you keep that from sticking on you the the one thing i do like well, again that jersey mike situation right the one thing i notice is like 99.9 percent .9 of people that make comments they're morons I mean, like, right. like, I mean, they're spineless and, and they're, they're not. So what I do is my favorite thing to do, and, and it's, <laughs> it's a double win is I get on there and I clap back. Right. And so it's so funny. Cause like there was this guy, <laughs> there was this guy that came in. Uh, what did he look like? You know, they have, you know, a lot of their I usually go after their family. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Like I do. Like if they're like, Dan's the fat one. And then I'll go to their picture and it's their, them and their dumpy wife and their ugly kid. And I'm like. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that, but your family is disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I'll say you have a well, disgusting family. And you, it'll stop it. Yes. It'll stop. They won't say a word, no, but no, they no. will unfriend. They'll, uh, they'll stop oh, their the membership blocking. because I'm not playing. They're playing. Yeah, usually, yeah. yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah hey, yeah, they have yeah. the family. They're just playing. Well, no, like, my well, your family's <laughs> disgusting. And then they delete everything. He's like, I was just joking. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I was doing what you do on the radio. I was like, that's how it works. That's yeah, not yeah, how it works. That's not how it works. It's not a two way street. Yeah. So now. You, Daniel brings up a point where sometimes the uh, the You've comments. You've never said that before. Well, the Hold I have to put the camera on me. Yeah. He's like, never said that before. <laughs> it's it's hard to, and this is pro like part of the the problem with all of social media. Yeah. It's, it's hard to take text in context of how it's meant to be or how the person uh, oh, meant yeah. to say it. Yeah. Right? yeah. So they say something and it could be said as a joke and you're taking it as an insult. No, no, the some of it's a real like, oh, yeah. you know some it's of an insult. Troll. But, but you're right. But but like sometimes in like so that can get confusing uh, and and so I've in just in my mind only frame all like negativity as they're saying it as my buddy yeah. effing around with me. Yeah. And that that's helps a bit me. of a rose colored glasses. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, like, I like that. That's, well, and yeah. that's kind of how I, I spit back to you. I'm like, well, if you're going to talk trash, right? Like I'll talk yeah. trash back with you. It's yeah. so, like the one kid looked like uh like a chubbier Alex Rodriguez or whatever. Okay. Uh, so I was like, okay, soft Al or uh, a thick Alex Rodriguez. Yeah. Or whatever. And like, could have easily called him Gay Rod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, 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 there. You not, can text me. Just text me. Well, I love like, doing this stuff. I'm like, look at your chat. No. Dude, you'd have a field in my comment section. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, might, I might dip my toe into that. You should. It's a good time. You know, because my thing is, like, like someone will say, like, say something stupid, and I'll be like, nah, dude, come on. If you're going to come in trolling, yeah, you got to do better than that. Try again. Go yeah, ahead, try yeah, again. Yeah. And it just deflates them. You know, and you watch them one by one fall, 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 fall. Or someone will be like, oh, I was just kidding. It's like, oh, I was just kidding, too. And you know what I mean? So like, but that is a lot to manage. It, right? it is. Yeah. It, it really can be pretty brutal. You know, sometimes like depending but on the works. day, your mood, it does. And if you look, look at any celebrity. I don't care if it's the Pope, dude, on his account getting slaughtered. You know what I mean? Like the problem is today, everyone's angry. You know, like that's on social media. That's the way I see it. Like we're in a rough economy. Times are tough. People are just not that happy. And yeah. they are taking it out on anyone else that shows slight happiness on the internet. And oh, like the coffee lady. Yeah. <laughs> that poor, poor coffee lady that what? on Instagram <laughs> that would just get up and share herself making coffee and working what? out. And they would just roast her to the point where she was making the rounds on all talk shows, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tom Segura's show, Burke, because people are being so just like, me. For no reason, me. Just me. Yeah. So, so with th this also brings up an interesting psychology behind, um, I guess, viewers, listeners, followers, and how they are on the internet compared to real life. Yeah. Because throughout this 20 years of, uh, you know, 30 years of Daniel doing this, 20 years of me, 
Um, we've seen even when like uh, uh, boards, what are they called? Like text, web boards. Web boards. Yeah. Back in like a message, like a standard you know, evil message board. Twenty years ago, I remember in radio when when I was an intern and coming up in radio, yeah. like there would be these message boards, and then there would be like the super D heads, like the original trolls, yeah, were yeah. the message board, and then they would be like, "Oh, this guy's uh, dark crazy or whatever the hell, was, like uh, the dark horse or the yeah, yeah. Uh, it was Darth Darth Vader." Or whatever, yeah. and then this guy's the meanest guy on the internet. But that was just a persona that he built. And then I remember, like, well, I'm sitting at an event one time, a radio event, and, and someone it was Darth, leaned, yeah. Someone leaned over to me, is like, "That's the Darth guy," and he's just some nerd dad yeah. Yeah. sitting he's there, nice, nice I as hell. I met him; he's very nice. nice yeah. As yeah. And then, I did meet him. He passed and, away, I believe. And then that's when it clicked. Back then, I was like, "Oh." This is a persona this guy built. This guy's a nice nerd dad that was nice as hell to me. Yeah. And then and then from that day forward, no one's all these D heads on the internet have never been D heads to my face ever. Yeah. Ever oh, in I don't 20 think I've years, ever had that. They, they, never happened. No, I will give them that. The brass I've tax. never yeah. had yeah. that. I have yeah. never so, had a listener so come how up real to my face it? that that dislikes anything that I do and ever go like, hey, just so you know, if you like, no, I've never had an inter- I've so, never had an altercation. So I think like it's that, a nothing. So these comments, it's not even real hate. It's a, I yeah. think it's just, it's, it's a like fake persona. Off steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it's know something what it weird. It, it's an alter ego. I think yeah. a lot of them don't have the, the like in, in mine especially, right? These these kind of like like beta males, if you will, right? Uh, that are yeah, in the yeah, basements yeah, yeah. down there with fake accounts. They don't have it to do it in person, so they try to be tough on the internet. Right, and we're gonna get less of that because I, when I talk to young people, they have a really hard time talking to me, like in person. Oh God! So yeah. if you're an older person, yeah. it's never been a better time to be a weak old person because yeah. young people are so weak. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they can't do. even look you in the eye. No, like me, don't. even with my busted hips, I'm a badass <laughs> out there in the world. Man. <laughs> young people come hips. up to me if they're waiting on me. If they were like, it, 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 I'll beat them all up. But, but let me ask I'm you this: I'm so much tougher than they hey, are. So a couple, probably about two months ago, right? I get tagged in this post, and it's <laughs> someone created an account that it was said uh, it said to, uh, the account was like j- like uh, kill Jesse Wolf or something like that. The real Jesse Wolf. It was the account, and the account's bio said like this account exists for the sole purpose to ruin the real Jesse Wolf's life. And I was like, wow, dude. I'm like, this is next level. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. it's a little creepy. That wow, is. That, the, did they specifically use? And I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. The term kill. Yeah, it was because that to me it does. I mean, I think you do that in England, you go to jail. Well, listen, I don't know if you're allowed to do that. What's so funny about Instagram? Right, Instagram's supposed to have these like you know report stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I'll be like, oh, like you know, I'm gonna show up your house, murder your family. Okay, report. Right. Instagram will be like, oh, does not violate community yeah. guidelines. Yeah. And I'm like, who's reading these? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a bot. Yeah. I'm just like, what is this? Me- well, meanwhile, meanwhile. I'm a bot. I would be safe if someone tried to kill me. You know, at the bottom of Instagram, it's like the hidden ones or whatever. It's like, I like your hair hidden. And I'm like, all right, dude. I don't yeah. understand. Like, I've never had a hidden people. comment ever be anything bad. No, honestly, never. Yeah. If there's a hidden comment on anything I post, I go to click it, hoping for the N-word. Not hoping. Yeah. You know, like, hoping I'm like, yeah, I'm like, like hey, give me N-word, word, and it's not. <laughs> it'll be like, yeah. it'll be like, thank you so much for what you do. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you're, you're, the best, yeah you're the best. Why was this not at the top? <laughs> yeah, it's usually, and it's usually, uh, I don't know if you see this, check this in the future once you yeah. see it. It's usually an older user. Always. Like an older lady, an yeah. older man. Yeah. It's it's like they hide. It's like they look at the picture. They're like, old person hide is coming. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to be on here I don't know hide. what it is. I don't know what it is. That's it's pretty weird. accurate, though. That's it pretty is, accurate. It is weird that it is a, it's usually older ladies for me, like dog ladies. Yeah. Dog, older radio listeners. Very specific. Yeah. So, Jesse, I'm sure you've thought about this, but it... it, it, it in the entire history of entertainment, uh, you you kind of want to do what your audience wants to see, right? Yeah, yeah. And on the internet and social media, it, it, you can have instant results and just like, all right, if I eat three Jersey Mike subs for a, like that's everybody all of a sudden millions, you're yeah, like, this like is I'm what not. they want, <laughs> you know, but, but then, but then you're like, well, I can't just, what am I going to start doing? Like, uh, you know, binge eating things and stuff like you've oh, seen where this I've is. I've been wanting to do mukbangs for a long well, time. Oh no, yeah. Let's bang dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been what? wanting to do it. But you, you, so it's, it's kind of a slippery slope where, and we've seen it with other influencers where they're like, oh, these guys like when I uh, hit myself in the nuts with different yeah. things. And yeah, then all yeah. of a sudden you're hitting yourself in the well, nuts Well, that is every why day. I brought up the, 
the the mukbang thing. Yeah, you know, or mukbang. Uh, avocado. I mean, that guy. Oh, that, not throwing it, shade, but that guy drove him crazy. Systematically has no. He figured out that if he do, gets bigger, that he will get bigger paycheck, and yeah. he's done it, and, and it's, it's scary sad. Yeah, yeah it, that that is a. I, I think going back to this, like, the high level of this conversation, there is a line, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, like, that, you know, when you cross to that side where, again, I think he's letting them – I mean, he's got some mental health stuff to work it through. Does, yeah, it does seem that way. And, and if you feel bad for the guy, you know, yeah. but, like, look at all the other people that do the ASMR and the mukbang and the food reviews. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I just think sometimes it, it breaks you, you know, and, I mean, it is. It's a lot mentally. I mean, the other thing I'll say – you know, I was on Shark Tank, and, you know, I, my face was plastered all over media, newspapers for the business and stuff, and I got recognized time to time, yeah. you know, for sure on that one. Uh, I sometimes underestimate the internet, Yeah, you know? When you get a million views, that's one million people that have seen your stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. You know, and I sometimes I forget that. I'm like, you oh, can't sick. even comprehend. You really can't. So I'll be at Disney. Like, I was at Disney a few months ago. And, uh, and a girl came up and was like, oh, my God, you're real Jesse Wolf. And I'm like, hey, how are you? Again, like you guys, what's up? When she did that, people stopped and were like, who's this guy? He's famous. And then it started kind of creating a little bit of like, you know, it made oh, me uneasy. Yeah. Yeah, uh. You know, and I'm like, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, I forget. I'm like, why? Like, how do you know me? And they're like, oh, I follow you on Instagram. And I'm like, whoa, that's wild to think when those videos go big, million, two, three million. Yeah. Three people- million people. You yeah, know, yeah. see all those videos yeah. and like you're out there. So that's that's kind of hard to process sometimes. Yeah, no, sure. it is. It is. And and also when you're doing it yourself without being attached to some media outlet. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. that's then, really the key. Then, yeah. then it's a hard thing to uh, compartmentalize, I guess, because, you know, when you're attached to a media outlet, and that's how me and Daniel started, where it's like, you do this show, uh, uh, you know, Monday well, through again, Friday. It, and it, you brought up a good point. It eased us in, I feel like. It does, yeah. 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 And you know, there's it was no, like, it's your old example of an old man uh, dipping his body <laughs> yeah, yeah. into hot bath water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we, he goes really slow, uh, you know, a, a, an inch of time yeah we got eased into yeah. old media yeah. and then now all these influencers are being rocketed out oh, front yeah. and they, they they're f- figuring out how to handle it, it, it right. it's like yeah. cliff jumping and just belly smacking well, the water. Yeah, is yeah. it no different than it's a, weird man is it no different than a wide receiver in the 90s getting a 10 million dollar contract at the time not knowing what to do with it coming from no money to all the money yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of going yeah. crazy he's driving uh, uh sports cars on i4 at 109 miles an yeah. hour gets pulled over <laughs> he's doing all the drugs yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 21 houses and then he's only played for three years and they're like where's your money where, like, where did it all go yeah, <laughs> yeah i got nothing you know it's funny but, and then we we're just now as a society even trying to like you know i know florida like hey let's let's keep kids off of oh, facebook and yeah. 70 or whatever we're trying like we're just now saying like wait wait a minute well, let's uh let's Pump teach break let's teach people how to do this in a healthy way and like let's teach people what what if they do get a bunch of followers like someone needs to tell people how to handle this you gotta ask what them for do, money like, you gotta ask them for money <laughs> don't you get a lot of followers like don't, don't if you asked them all for one dollar you think they'd do it <laughs> that'd be interesting we that's should. always been the one i wanted to try yeah. is like i just be like come on I let's just do this dollar from everybody everybody send me one dollar one dollar let's see what we can do here. well you know who got insanely uh rich doing that but with showing nude pics or sexy pics it was what's her name uh catch me outside uh oh. rich bad yeah, barbie yeah, yeah. yeah i mean bad. How, what, what was that baby I mean, what baby. was the stat she made like uh, ten can, million bucks in a day, or there was some. Yeah. I'll, I'll look it up. Here. And, yeah, and then that's that. That's the power of oh, this person was f- known w- like worldwide through this one thing, and uh, you know she's turning eighteen, and how gross that is. <laughs> By the way, but and then like, hey, I'm starting an OnlyFans. I understand you have to say that for the radio. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, schematics. You know, pay my OnlyFans, and all of a sudden she just got insanely so, rich fast from some. Really, not that much like showing your yeah. nude body or yeah. whatever is well, crazy. And, and so let's talk about that, right? Because me and my buddies went deep down this one night, and we were like, okay, like let's say you go that right, you just show your naked body, right? right? That's it, not you know, full blown pornography, right? That's no different than Playboy in essence, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like if you look at what Playmates got paid in the nineties, you know when it was iconic Playboy, it wasn't that much money, no, right? no, no. So you take someone like her, right? Who's like, hey. I'm going to go, in essence, do my, my own private labeled Playboy. We, we were talking, like, would you do it or let your girlfriend, wife, or whatever, would you allow, you know, be cool with it, per se, if she did it. For $10 bucks, 
you did it for three months and then you, you're able to disappear and retire. You know, like that was kind of like, would you do it personally? I think I would do that. Oh, oh yeah, I got yeah. your number. You want the number? <laughs> yeah. Here, here's okay. the number. And in, intern him. Danielle Bergoli, also known as Bod Baby, reportedly made over $1 million on her first day on OnlyFans. From the Tom and Dan Studio Newsroom, I'm Hard Drive, the Juggalo Robot Intern. Thank you, Hard Drive. <laughs> so, one million in the first day, but that's an insane. Just like one day, and you made a million in revenue. I mean, you're a businessman. You know, this this insane just doesn't happen. And it's know. pure profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. other part. There's yeah. no cost of goods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's your goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. And it's just a post. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, through a site, and then uh, and she made a lot more money than that. I mean, that was the first day. Um, but oh, I think she's over like 50 million total revenue right now. But something crazy. The Jesus business Christ. power. Or of some, and then that's just uh, showing your, you know, like you said, nude body. But then it's like, well, what else is possible with this? And then that comes the insane pressure, and uh, people start getting wigged out by it. It's like, and then they have to take breaks. And you know, some people are grinding, have uh, hundreds of thousands of followers, and can't figure out how to make a dollar off of it. Oh, she's I've worth seen 20 that too. Mil. 100. She, 20 yeah. million. Yeah, he's yeah, worth 20 yeah. million right crazy. now. Like, I, I mean, I've talked to, uh, you know, Big Tim, our buddy Big Tim on TikTok. He's got hundreds of thousands of followers, and he can't monetize it, really. And, it, and it's so frustrating to me because I'm like, there has to be a way. You but sometimes huge audience, yeah. So it, you just he hasn't found it yet or whatever. Right. He says, like, it, well, for whatever it is. But there's lots of people like that. Lots, you know? lots of them. And, I see and, it every day. And, and, and that's crazy because a lot of people just instantly think that people with uh, hundreds of thousands of followers are rich. Oh, uh, you dude, know, No, like, you know what? It, and I think it's always been this way. We just haven't. I think we've had a bit of a blind eye to a lot of what real celebrities are because I was watching a clip. You know for a fact that I, I still subscribe to Howard Stern show. Yeah. And yeah. there was a clip they put out like two days ago and it was Sarah Silverman. And it was like, I want to say it was 2014. So like a long time ago, but not really. I mean, yeah. 10 years. <laughs> it is and it isn't. It doesn't right? feel like it, but, but it is. But it was her on the Stern show, 2014, no pandemic, no nothing. And she was talking about how a lot of people think she's rich, but she's not. Yeah. And she was talking about how like, I don't have an agent. I book myself. You know, like I've been in some of the biggest things you've ever seen. I'm a legendary comedian, but I'm not a rich person. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Well, and, that's and, subjective. She's probably a millionaire, right? Yeah, uh, but the, yeah. Well, here's what yeah, yeah. here's what had happened. They they had had her on the set for like a movie. I think it was one big movie, and she had a big part in it. And then they said, well, uh, she had a stalker at the time. Uh, and and the court said uh, they, they advised her. They're like, well, this guy, we're, we're dealing with this now, but you're going to have to hire private security in order to protect yourself. And she's like, I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like she yeah. didn't have... Yeah, you know, yeah, she yeah, was still yeah. living in an apartment. Like she's it was like, yeah, she's yeah, not she, multi, multi yeah, millionaire. I mean, she's um, still considered like B, A minor. You know, like yeah. she still knows everybody yeah. has a cell phone full of. But yeah. it wasn't like, I mean, what is she worth? Seven million? That's a ton of money, but it's all yeah, you know. That's it, yeah, subjective to where people correct. people think she's in, uh, especially seven yeah. million L.A. money, right? Correct. Yeah, it's so right, different. Right. So New really, York it's City like ninety six thousand. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but it, but it did. I was sitting there thinking about it. I was like, I never. First of all, I never knew that. Second of all, I know plenty of influencer buddies of mine that have. I mean, hundreds of thousands of, of followers that are destitute. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like that are just like, you know, they need a regular job. Yeah. Like even just like a, a, a $15 an hour, yep. you know, deal. So we don't have that much time, Jesse, but I got to ask you, because when I saw your Publix video about you return, <laughs> yes. it was around, it was, our Publix would yeah, go to yeah. every day. Yeah. You returned a cart uh, that you found somewhere uh, to Publix and they sent you a gift. Yeah. And in my <laughs> uh, skeptical radio, everything's fake braid. I'm like, he made that up. <laughs> what? I'm you like, know that my I, business partner thinks you're a goddamn liar? And I'm like, he's Did getting, you know that? I'm like, he's getting News that. Why would you say News that to him? I'm like, this is my friend. <laughs> I'm like, Publix paid him to make this post, and Why he came up with this? it, and he said he returned a card, and Publix sent him this, and it's all he's made a, up. The room goes dark. And, 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 it's it's it is really crazy to me that he's trying to shed his accidental <laughs> dickhead persona, <laughs> yet you say things like that. No, like, no, where you just look at him, and you're like. That's funny. I like it. I like it. So that was real. Yeah. So. So yeah, so the way <laughs> the way that unfolded, again, uh, you know, it's funny because people are always like, "Your social media is so unhinged," and I'm like, "It is." And I, I like I, that. I, yeah, I don't. I again, I don't try to be an influencer by any means because like my content's all over the place. Yeah. Like yeah. three weeks ago, I'm at a scrapyard like with a claw crushing a car. Oh, you know, and then that's I'm, cool. Yeah, the next day I'm working out. You know, it's like all over. So I'm I'm on my walk, my morning walk, which I call meeting one. It's my yeah. first meeting of the day, and all the way out, you know, on the trail is this cart, huge cart. And I'm like, dude, who does this? 
So I start pushing it. I'm like, son, bitch, this thing is heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all it's right. the one with the race car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, literally. Like, oh, wow. Somebody split. was, like, moving the race car one? All the I mean, dude, like, I was out there. Oh, man. So I start pushing it, and I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll just record this, right? So I'm just jacking around, recorded it, pushing it all the way back. By the time I pushed it in there, I was, like, sweating bullets. Oh, yeah, like, oh. man. I was like, this is more of a workout. And it was funny because I'm like, I was recording it. I'm like, yo, Publix, just so you know, like, I didn't remove this i'm taking it back yeah, yeah so if yeah. anybody reports me on the street walking with this <laughs> yeah thing, they're like you know. look he already ate the children yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you son yeah. of a bitch yeah. that, they were turning the crime scene yeah. uh, piece uh yeah and then sure enough dude i was like uh Publix, i what, i said something like do i get a free uh uh cake or something for doing this something uh-huh. like that so sure enough Publix is like yo thanks for doing that they saw it they're like what's your address we'll send you something and i'm, I'm all right cool i think it was gonna yeah, be a yeah. coupon for you know, a cookie yeah, yeah. box or whatever. And then it was this whole swag box. You know, it was really nice. funny. You Did know? you get the Publix Crocs? Yeah. No, dude. They got I, Publix Crocs. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've uh, been wanting those. Yeah. So I, I've deemed myself the cart cowboy. And yeah. uh, I did a couple more. And people, <laughs> again, you get a hat? Know, I'm working on it. Okay. Working on it. <laughs> We're going to get you a hat. you got to give me a hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and a little gun that says bang. Yeah. Or maybe it's a public flag or <laughs> oh, something. Oh, nice. I don't know. I'm an, I'm an idea guy. Yeah, yeah. I like this. We'll, we'll jam. Yeah. And then, but your followers are like, next time, get in the cart and roll yourself <laughs> oh, down. <yeah. laughs> we want to see you get hurt. And we yeah. want to see you look at the camera and say, I'm Jesse Wolf, and this is a big guy in a cart. Hurts himself in public. Uh, You'll see me on Cimarron at the intersection <laughs> by the wall. <laughs> Blow it apart. Or, Jesse, we're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Um, the real Jesse Wolf on yeah. all platforms. Uh, Man, thanks so much for coming in today. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having we me. We always love seeing you. Always and then we had Mark Sostash in here. We're like getting all these like fun. We're getting yeah. the fun influencers in here. It's funny because I, I was telling Mark and Jesse when you guys were both in the room together, I was like, you have more uh, subscribers <laughs> yeah. and followers than the entire radio station and no. TV stations are. Oh, in combined. Central Florida combined. 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 I'm yeah. like, and it's fu- so funny that we still have this mentality of like that, it, like somehow, like this is more yeah. legitimate than the amount of subscribers you have, which is 10 times or, you know, 50 100? times, 100 times. You know, like, yeah. it, it's so crazy. And it, it, we'll look back in this in, in history and be like, wow, there's a weird time. Were like yeah. influencers, you know what it reminds me of? A hundred times the audience, and they were, and then there was some radio guy like, "Who are you?" You know what it reminds me of? <laughs> oh weird. my god, I just figured it out, and you you figured it out with Cart Cowboys. We are old cowboys that still ride horses and have our guns on. <laughs> yeah. And here comes Jesse and Sawstash in their new automobile. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we look at it and we're like, what the hell? Where's what? your horse? Yeah, where's your horse? <laughs> Gay. Yeah, we don't that, right? <laughs> we're, I mean, we, don't, we don't like it. This is a bizarre time. We're shooting right? at your car. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you for coming on, Jesse. Thanks, we love you, buddy. Love right. you too, guys. We'll be back. Uh, so we got to go, right? Yeah, yeah.